go. Here we are, Hera versus Viper, the first game of a best of seven. And we are on African reed beds, and Hera went Saracens against Sato, because Sato tried to go for the greedy fish boom and the big walls, and Saracens was able to punish that. Viper has gone for Malians here, and Viper could go for a pretty greedy fish boom here, too. He's got a good wall set up on this side. Game started. Home run derby. I swear to God, if you weren't a first-time chatter, dude, I would throw you down the stairs. I don't even have stairs. No, I. there are stairs near me. I'd throw you down them. And they're not very big stairs, so I'd pick you up, and then I'd throw you down again. Dave, I'm cold. Can you turn up the heat, please? No. Don't touch that thermostat. I'll be watching. I will know. I appreciate the first time courtesy. I, you will get three consecutive stair throws. And if you survive that, then we'll see what happens. Here's the dock from Hera. And I wonder if he's just going to open scouts and go into archers again. Malians is a little bit different than playing against the Japanese, where you knew your opponent was going to fish boom. Malians could go for a lot of different things, right? You could go for the infantry push early with archer follow-up. You could go for scouts of your own. You could go for full wall, fish boom. You could do a lot of things. Game one, and Dave is already threatening violence. Night. Threatening? It like my great aunt when I pull a surprise visit. She was like, oh! Grim! 62 Roses months. are red, violets are blue. There is a vacancy in pleb waiting for you. Join pleb. I'm day. never joining pleb. Doesn't matter how many months. You could have... 620 months. It doesn't matter. Never joining it. Thank you. Three minutes into no corner check. Dude, all we're going to see is, is markets. All we're going to see is markets. And if I accidentally click on this, it's going to get inside of your eardrums really quickly. Listen to this. So loud. Cedrus, thank you for the 17. Like, it's only pawns. And markets. North corner has a fun hole. You mean this little divot here? Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax break just for hanging out with you. This is like me in the little area that used to be a sand trap. You know, when I really need to make par. To tie my personal best or to set my personal best. And then my ball hits here, and instead of rolling onto the green, it rolls all the way down here into this little fucking creek that used to be a sand trap, and then I have to get it up here. So yeah. Anyway, Feudal Age on the way for both. And what are we looking at? No gold yet from Hera, so it's probably... Or from Viper, sorry. So it's probably going to be scouts. Dave, can we get colors on the player's name? And it looks like it's going to be top. scouts it for... It took me 10 seconds to figure who is who. I quest for new people, they have no idea. What? Can we get callers? Callers on the player's name on the big font in the top? The names are here, bro. The names are also here, dude. What do we... Callers? You watching World Juniors? Yeah! This guy wants to put a caller on hair. Like, weird, dude. Weird. All right, walls coming up from Viper. It is a stable, and it's a stable as well from Hera. Looks like Viper's stolen a few goats, and he's just gonna kill this one. Hera doesn't care too much about that. He's got the fish in the back. It would have been nice, you know, he'd buy himself a little bit more time before he has to go out to the berries, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Can't afford to lose this scout though. If you lose that scout, and Viper has his scout alive, suddenly you have to make something to come back here. That's actually really brutal for Hera. 
I think he was planning on losing his scout and taking out Viper Scout with the TC at the same time. But now look at this. It's a nightmare. He's going to lose his fish. Against the scout with 3 HP. That's actually so brutal. And Viper is working away on the walls. He's got Spearman coming out. He's got more scouts coming out. And Harrow's first Spearman has to go back here. His first scout has to go back here. So this is buying Viper tons of time to get the walls up on the sides. Beautiful. <laughs> it's so annoying, dude. You can't afford to lose the scout battle on this map. Hera does manage to save his fish, but he's lost a lot of momentum because of that. He's lost a lot of map position, too. Are you the thirsty Kitchener thief that recently got banned from all LCBOs? No, I'm not. I've seen plenty of theft happen in the LCBO, though. Especially the one downtown. Damn, dude, they got a security guard there 24-7. And then they got like the security guard that that knows like he actually knows looks like he actually knows how to security guard. They don't have like the you know nineteen year old girl that's like four foot eleven that just kind of stands there and watch everything happen. They got like the former biker gang motherfucker. <laughs> There's a security guard at my local LCBO as well. Could have easily been a club bouncer, yeah. Archer range added from Viper. Easy wall off here, right? Especially with Malians, you can just start adding the house walls one at a time. If you feel like you can get away with it, he's tracking the army from Hera. And look at this. Spearman in the back with the scout, and he killed the he killed the fishing ships. He got him. And he's going to get a villager here too if Hera's not careful. Not a great start for Hera at all. So the Saracens kind of work against someone who's just going to YOLO fish boom. Oh, Hera, you can't take that fight uphill either. Viper's going to win that. Oh, Hera. Oh, not like this. Oh, not like this, dude. There's no way you lose two bills to a scout like that. Oh, jeez. Really rough, rough opening here from the Canadian. Meanwhile, Viper has only got one fish trap set up. He's going to get some more eventually. But right now, he's got to be feeling super comfortable. Look at the villager count. 33 fi villagers, 5 fishing ships versus 32 villagers only from Hera. I mean, market can be great. Ooh. Spearman's dead. Demo is only at 60, now 75%. Spearmen are coming over too. Oh, oh. Okay. And Viper's got another Spearman in his zone, protecting. And he's sending the archers in the spear back, so he loses one ship. Might lose another one. Might lose that fish trap. Not the worst thing in the world, though. And he keeps three of them alive. So he's going to start adding in the fish traps now. He's going to take that shore fish, and he's still pressuring over on this side. Resources for Viper looking fantastic. Hera's resources actually not looking that bad, but a lot of that is due to the market. You can see he's already sold 200 stone. And he's going double range as Viper still tries to get into his base. Popped over to Hera's stream, dead silent focus. Yeah, no, <laughs> Hera's got such a mood switch. Like when he's heavy focused or when he's been losing a lot, it's so much different from when he's just like, you know, super comfortable. And if you've watched Terra a lot, you go over there, and within a second, you can instantly, like, tell what situation it is. Even without looking at the scoreboard. Castle Age. On the way for Viper. You have a res destroyed stat? No, I don't have that. Also, 
Nilly, the other day, I think it might be like a custom version of his capture age, but he, he could see how much damage total the, the units had done. I'm pretty sure. I don't have that version. I would love that. Yo, Jeeps, thank you for the four months. Fishy, thank you for the 10. Fenris, thank you for the $3. Appreciate it. All right, so Castle Age on the way for both. Herod delayed fletching so he could click up to Castle Age first. He's going to have double range production, but Viper also has double range production. Herod wasn't able to get the fishing ships because of the fire galley, so good addition there from Viper. And Hera's got to be careful with these. Yeah, Viper won't lose a bill there. Nilly's version also shows the researched unique text. Yeah. I think that's a custom version for him, though, for NAC. What is the yellow still alive in Hera's pond? That's one spearman. But Hera didn't add in an extra fishing ship, so that guy's just been chilling there ever since he killed the initial fish. Castle Age is in for Viper. Doesn't realize his scouts are dying. He's busy elsewhere making the university and a TC. He's going to have ballistics super quickly with Malians. Very, very quick. 80% faster to be exact. Watch it come in. Watch ballistics come in. It's been like... Burp. 30 seconds. And Hera only has archers. And he's still 10 seconds away from crossbow. Viper will not push the issue, though. And Hera's going to have enough time for crossbow and Bodkin Arrow to come in. Does have that first armor upgrade, which Viper still doesn't have. But there's the university. And that villager will notify Hera that Ballistics is indeed in. He's trying to save her, but he won't. And Viper will still hold the position in Hera's base. Hera is going to be all in on army production. He can barely afford to keep the ranges going after getting ballistics. On the other side, Viper is adding a third town center. Viper with some really nice timings. And now that the villagers are here, he could go for the mix up So Hera doesn't know whether he's targeting the crossbows or the villagers. He needs to protect both. It's a disgusting situation for Hera to be in. And now he's on the gold too. Oh, God. And there's so many villagers here. Hera can't really even dodge with them. Because he doesn't know which one Viper's going to target. And Viper's going to be going for those mix-ups, right? He's not going to go for the obvious villagers to target. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five villagers down. Almost another one there, too. <clears throat> Goes back to the villa again. Because Hera thought he was going to target the crossbows. And Hera's at 27 villagers. 22 minutes into the game. Viper is at 49. I don't think he's going to pull through. And it all started with Hera... Losing his scout and Viper keeping his alive on 3 HP. That is where all of this started to snowball, right? Because then Hera's army was defensive. Dealing with that. It was not going forward. Viper had the comfort um, to go forward here and just slowly wall behind. Sub months less than the Pistons losing streak. Wait, the Pistons have lost more than 25 games in a row? Twenty-eight. <laughs> Poor Detroit, dude. Poor Detroit, man. GG. Holy, dude. The Tigers suck. The Pistons suck. The Lions. I mean, the Lions always suck. The Red Wings are basically the only thing that Detroit has had. And they're in a down period right now. Although there are there are kind of, you know, they've been doing okay this season. The Lions are the three seed at the moment in the NFC. 
bro, it's the, it's the fucking Lions. Talk to me when when they win the Super Bowl. Talk to me when they win a playoff series. Lions actually pretty good right now. Listen, it's the fuck, bro. It's the Lions. I'm not even an NFL fan, and I know the Lions are never gonna win shit. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax break just for hanging out with you. One year of content. Thank you, Father, for your gifts. Abishai, thank you for the 12 months. Don't hate Lions, you Canadian. My dad grew up in Detroit. He grew up as a Lions fan. And his utter disappointment in that team has rubbed off on me my entire life. He has no faith in the Lions. He's been watching the Lions since the 60s or some shit. He has no faith in that team. Lions have a better chance of a championship this year than the Leafs. I mean, you're, if you're comparing the Leafs and the Lions, I mean, I don't know. There's not really, you can't really go much lower than that. No, the Lions do not equal the Leafs, Jolt. Hello, Jolt, by the way. Because the Leafs actually won shit before they started to get terrible. The Lions have always been terrible. Your mom groped me two Halloweens ago. Shut the fuck up or I'll take it to Twitter. I know that shit was a long time ago, but it is still wins. They're still, they still have the second most Stanley Cups in NHL history. <laughs> Back when everyone was named like Dak Wilson or something. Or like Bert Herbfoot. <laughs> Some shit. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax. North American sport is so weird. It's fun. Well, we just have more than one. That's the thing, right? We got more than one team sport that people watch. It's not the same most other places. More, like big team sport. This is like a lot of stuff you need to know. Bert Curbfoot. Yep. Anyway, Outcrop, Hera playing Hindustanis, Viper playing Portuguese. Hindustanis. Yikes. I was nicely disappointed last year watching in the arena Leafs versus Lightning in playoffs. Hey, man. We beat the Lightning. And then we fucking, like, lost to the fucking Panthers somehow. Unbelievable. Hindustanis are pretty strong right now, not gonna lie. Okay. 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 Well, the game where it was it was 4-1 jolt and we came back or 5-1 or whatever, that oh my god. Oh, that game was so good. Oh my. Oh, that was such a good game. Early boar eating, it's 9 villager start. So you're going to eat the boars really really quickly on 9 vill start. Panthers had the hockey gods blessing them the first three rounds. Like, the Panthers were by far the worst team against the uh, the Bruins. Like, if you watch that series, holy did they ever get fucking lucky. I wasn't complaining because I hate the Bruins. But, like, all you had to do, it like, they they were the worst team in seven of those seven games that they played. They got fucking bailed out, dude. Every single game was crazy. I wasn't complaining Anita though, because it's the Bruins. Our little dykes have been bitten by the good time bug. And then against the Leafs, well, Sergei Bobrovsky, hello. Feudal Age on the way for both. 
18 population or 18 villagers for both and the walls have not started to come up yet from Hera. Now on outcrop we only have stone on the outside here. There is no stone in the middle bases. There's a few tiles of gold but you will have to stretch out to that area. You also can't wall over this stony terrain so you will need to have separate bases. Usually the meta here is to full wall up your base and either go for a scouts into a pretty fast castle or maybe full wall archers into a castle transition, or maybe just even fast castle itself. It's very rare that you will see a full feudal investment from somebody. I never like watching ice hockey on TV. You can't see the puck. I, If you watch enough hockey, you will know exactly where the puck is. Like, if you're new to watching hockey the puck gets lost but if like if you've watched as many hockey games as like i have i very rarely lose the puck ever because you can tell from where people are looking what position they're in the last place you saw the puck i remember once when uh i was a kid fox sports in the states this is a famous thing that happened they highlighted the puck for a couple years with like an orange glow it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. How many cows are here? We have one, two, three, four, five cows for Viper. We have one extra cow here for Hera. There are neutral cows on the side, and you can see Harris still trying to bring some back, and he's going to find an additional two. So Viper will take these, and Viper will not find those cows from Hera. How did he not see those? Hang on a second. He didn't see them. Hera's going to get home with those. Nice. Beautiful, and Hera's going for the, for the walls here. I think Viper's map is better. Uh, yeah, it's definitely easier to wall, for sure. Viper? A lot of villagers on these cows. A lot of villagers. Only has two scouts here. He's going for more spearman production. And he knows that Hera doesn't have a range yet. Sees the amount of scouts and spearmen. Would make sense with that uptime. So... Just going to invest in a few more spearmen, get his eco upgrades. Once the cows run out, he can start adding in some farms. And then they can start thinking about Castle Age. Hera, on the other side, just bringing the cows back. Already adding in farms of his own. And he's just walling at the edge of the map. Corner check. Corner check. That's a decent corner. Corner check. Corner check. I don't mind this corner. I don't mind this corner. Those other corners are lame. 700 wood. Yeah, I think he's waiting until this stuff is cleared up and then he can place some more buildings out here. He also needs to put his farms down once those cows are gone. But Viper is definitely floating a ton of wood at the moment. It'll all disappear though. When he goes for a market or blacksmith, he goes to the mining camp, he makes a couple farms, that wood's going to be gone. Extra wood from berries. I mean, you get extra wood from berries. You're not wrong. But it's only 42 wood per berry bush, right? So it's not a ridiculous amount. Good stuff from Hera. Really active with these scouts. And you can see he hasn't taken that much damage. Like he's applied a lot of pressure here. It's still a z 1 to 0. KD. And Viper is forced to go for a range here. Hera has not added in an archer range, but he is getting forging. Maybe trying to catch Viper under investing in Spearman. He's waiting for like one of those Spearmen to come out all alone. Then he jumps on it. Then he gets the other one, jumps on that. Then the other one jumps on that. And then suddenly there's no Spearman at all. But Viper's making a four spearmen. Should be fine there. 
Still taking the cows, adding in some farms. Nine villagers in the queue. Hang on a second. I was like, where's Viper's food? <laughs> Where is the food? That is a long queue. Holy, do you think he's like hiding his score from Hera? He probably doesn't even realize this is happening. Hera's gonna dive. Hera's gonna dive, but there's nothing here, dude. There's nothing here. Viper's trying to trap. He almost got the trap down. Good quick walls on the berries, and Hera runs around that way. Damn, bro. That would have been sick. I don't know if he could have held that gate against the, these scouts with forging, but it would have been sick. Bro, you have 11 villagers in the queue, Viper. Viper, you have 12 villagers in the... Viper. Viper, what's going on here? Quick walls the vill. Viper, you can... Viper, you can click up. You know this, right? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Both players going to be up at around the same time. Viper actually has archers here, which is going to help a ton. Keeps his spearman alive and only loses one villager. Probably not the best fight there for Hera. But Hera is up first. And Hera is almost going to have the full wall down. Eco is looking really solid, right? 16 farms versus 11 from Viper. And Viper's on the way up too. Beautiful. And Viper can already start massing the archers. I don't know what Hera wants to go into here. Does he just go like light cav with a little bit of boomage? Does he go like skirms? I mean, Viper's got a stable. Skirm is not great. He just tries to boom up a little bit behind this. Ghulam? Mm. Ghulam is not so great anymore. Also, you need to um, go out to the stone on the outside. So you need to expose yourself to get to a castle. I mean, like, expose your economy. I'm not saying, like, you know, in order to get a castle, you need to, you know, go outside and... And start slinging hot dogs or anything. Too late. Good defense from... <laughs> Bear. Don't fucking care, dude. Boris does not give a shit. Three kills? Three kills? I have to look. I'm sorry. We have to know. What happened? Who is the third? Okay, so the spearmen come in. He's going to get this guy. No, he just bypassed Harris units and he's only going for vipers? Okay. That was the first one. And then this guy didn't stand a fucking chance, dude. Get him, Boris. Wow. All right, so we fast forward a little bit. That was worth the watch, though. Hera's going for a TC on the gold out here. Looks like he's gone for a few camels and elite skirm. So it's going to be camel skirmisher for him. And expand his eco a little bit. Comes in on this side. Won't be able to do too much damage. Viper's also added in a monastery. And Viper is going for a TC here on the stone. Viper's also over here with crossbows. And it's only one palisade wall. And there's a palisade wall here. So Hera's got to be very careful on this side. Seven crossbows can get through here pretty quickly. Viper doesn't need to be as careful. Because, like, really, what are camel skirm going to do? When you have the crossbows here, you got a monk to convert the camels, and you got that TC. It's just not an area Hera really wants to push in from. 
Here goes for a market. Okay. Viper could find value here with his crossbows on that gold. I don't think he knows about it, though. How do you counter Camel Skirm? Uh, you counter it like this. You don't fight it. What is Camel Skirm going to do to you if you don't engage? Are they going to kill your buildings? Very slowly. Are they going to kill your villagers? Not really. Like, as long as you have some walls to hide behind and some TCs to put your vills in, and you're not playing completely open, Camel Skirm is not that much of a threat. Hindustani's extra building attack for camels, it's still... Uh, brother. It's still not that dangerous, right? They're not going to be... Camels aren't going to be running under your TCs and nuking them until he has, like, 30 of them. And as long as he doesn't pose a threat to your TCs, your villagers can be safe. Also, walls like this, right? The camels will get through here eventually. But your monks have more range than the skirms. So if you have the wall up and you got a few monks behind or some crossbows behind or whatever, you just push it away. One villager snipe from Viper. Still on this stone over here. We'll be thinking about adding a second TC, likely around this area somewhere. And he's managed to defend himself. Saved a lot of gold on his units, too, with Portuguese here. Crossbow, Monk, Scorpion, right? Camels can kill TCs, yes, but they also take a lot of damage from TCs. So it's like... You could dive under a TC with 20 camels and potentially kill it, or you could just lose all 20 of your camels. And this is probably not the fight that Hera wants to take here. He will kill some monks, but he's going to lose his camels here, and he lost a lot of HP and lost a lot of skirmisher numbers too. Oh, what a shot from that scorpion. That was sick. I didn't even think it had the angle for that. How did it line that one up? My man, my... Dude, this scorpion's contacting NASA. Getting the geometry figured out. The slice, yeah. It looked like my, uh, my drive off the deck. Camels can't kill TCs because TCs aren't alive. Thank you, Chemical. Plus two armor is in for Hera, making this fight very difficult for Viper. Yeah, it's just like, that's not a situation you want to be losing, you know, five crossbows in. Villager count, 79 for Viper, 88 for Hera, wheelbarrow coming in for Hera, armor coming in for Hera. And one night, not going to be able to come out and take care of those mangonels. No monks here yet to protect the mangonels either. So it's a little bit of a threat, um, the knight coming forward. But now there's no stable because he killed it earlier. And Viper is just going to have to defend with the mangonel of his own. This is, like, quite stubborn from Viper to not make any walls or anything here. Now that there's two mangonels, he really doesn't have anywhere to hide behind with his own defensive mangonel. And he's going to have to have monks to protect against these camels. Or he's going to have to rely on the fact that Hera is likely very distracted by the forward castle coming up. And the crossbow's over here. He already took out one. He's going for the next one. Doesn't get it. One, two, three, four, five villagers dead. And these guys are completely surrounded for the moment. These skirms need to come over, clear up the crossbows. Let the villagers escape, but Viper with a ton of pressure on this side. 
Going to be taking out that TC. The Bears are getting involved once again, and the skirmishers aren't quick enough to catch up to those crossbows. Great stuff here from Viper. Meanwhile, at his own base, he did lose his mangonel against the camels. But is this enough pressure to really do damage here for Hera? I don't think so. Viper is completely controlling this side. And now Viper has a unit that's very good against skirmishers and very good against camels. The organ gun. And he's making it. Unfortunately for Viper, his gold income is um, not great. His villagers are on stone. <laughs> he literally has zero on gold right now. And he's trying to make monks, organ guns, crossbows, mangonels. He might actually think that this is gold. He might have thought that this is gold. Because he can't really see it behind the castle. He makes another TC over here. It's fine. Portuguese discount got this. Yeah. What's 30% of zero? Viper almost has enough stone for another castle. Oh boy. Hera is under all sorts of pressure. He has managed to sneak out over here. He's still not on stone himself. Does have a lot of food in the bank. And he's got 108 villagers. So he's kept his TCs running for sure. It's actually really impressive. 36 seconds of idle TC. Even with Hindustanis, that's really, really impressive. While going skirm camel. Very solid. Food overload, though. Villagers. Bang on this side. Mangano's still pushing. And Viper has enough stone for another castle. And he's sending a knight this way. So maybe he wants to control this area with his next castle. Hera clicks up to Imperial Age. Viper will not be that far behind. And I wonder if Viper tries to sneak out here for something now. He's seen that one TC. He hasn't seen this one yet, though. Or does he just go for a concerted push on this side? He could go for two castles. There we go. He's got 400 stone in the bank after he puts this one up. He could go for a second one soon. Maybe to defend himself in the middle. Is Twitch Viper better than Facebook Viper? I... Sure. Run, monk. They've got ballistics, monk. Run. It's going to be safe. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so scouts are being added from Hera. Still nothing on stone. Just now sends the villagers back. Vi <laughs> this is the most Viper castle I've ever seen. He's like, yeah, I'll never find that. It's all right. We'll just make a somewhat forward castle with one villager. And then we'll leave because... You know, I don't, I want to save that guy's life. There's no hill, even without the hill. That's a Viper castle right there. Well, he has another 1100 stone in the bank. Like Cap coming in to snipe the monks. Crossbows get one and Herod doesn't get the conversion. Hera doesn't get the conversion. Now the Lightcap can go after this monk. They can also go after the Mangonel. After the Skirmishers. Still no Lightcap upgrade in for Hera. It's only scouts at the moment. And it looks like Viper is going to be in a really strong position. 1900 stone in the bank. For Viper. And he goes for another castle. To fully secure this side. Hera is not getting over here anytime soon. He also goes for another castle defensively. And he can almost afford another one. Which he's probably going to make somewhere down here. 
Lightcap finally being queued from Hera. Viper's Lightcap continue to be problematic for him. You can see those skirmishers, they're unsure what to do, but the TC does clear it up. And Arbalist protecting the Mangonel. Castle's defensively everywhere. Viper will just go for another one here because he doesn't want to be raided to death. The problem for Hera is he can't clear up this main push. The potential problem for Viper, which he's basically dealt with by going for all these castles, is that Hera will have an insane farming eco. 52 on farms, right? Really, really solid. And he's just going to send Light Cab and Hussar into his base. But Viper should be fine. He's got the castles. And Hera has to keep a lot of his military back to deal with this shit. The only thing I would love to see from Viper is Siege to back this up. More than one Mangano, for sure. Heavy Camel. Second armor upgrade. Lightcap coming over here from Viper. Really great area over here to raid. Hera's going to send a Camel over. But lots of exposed villagers if Viper ever gets in here. And Viper's actually faster to the final armor upgrade than Hera is. This Mangonel has gotten so much value. It's insane. Hera has to back up with his entire army because the Mangonel is there. <laughs> he lost the TC because of that Mangonel. And now it's just going in. And Viper will build another castle. Right in the middle of Hera's base. Mangano still chugging along. Still doing its thing. How are you on 144 bills and still only some skirms for Hera? He's trying to get his upgrades, man. He's constantly running away, right? He has to replace all the farms that he made over here. Like, you look at the villager number, it looks great, sure. But a lot of the res they're bringing in is going into creating new villagers to replace the ones you've lost. Creating more farms to replace the ones you've lost. Like, he hasn't had a moment to really stabilize. Mangano goes down. Damn. And if you look at his blacksmith upgrades, you can kind of see where the resources have gone, right? He's got all the armor upgrades for his skirms. He's got the second um, cab upgrade. He's getting the third one right now. He's got bracer. He's got forging as well. He's got bloodlines. Like, there's a lot of upgrades for Hera. And he's also kind of pushing back on this side. So Viper needs to... Uh, Figure out a unit composition that's going to work for him long term. And get into it. Needed golems, I think. The problem for golems is that they die to this. And they die to, to like cavalier. You can mix in golem and heavy camel, but then you have two food gold units. Which isn't great. Really tough. And, like, you only have a limited amount of castles, and you're going to put a bunch of stone into repairing to those. And Camel. Damn, dude. He's managed to hold. He's still got 152 bills. Hera is not out of this, guys. Viper has a really good eco setup. He's got good castle placements defensively. Securing a lot of the resources on the map, but now Hera has control over the bigger um, segment here. I think there's more res on this side than there is in the north for Viper. Sixty-five on food for Viper. Tapped Ram on the way in. Imperial Camel is gonna be pretty brutal. Germs are still putting in work here for Hera. Castle is attacking the monastery instead of the units. That's actually tragic for Viper. He really needed that castle's help on the units. But instead, he's, he's busy thinking about the relic. <laughs> 
And now Hera has the population lead. Hera is pop capped right now. Viper is sitting at 165. And Viper is still attacking that monastery with the castle. Damn, dude. I think Viper's starting to worry just a little bit. I think he's starting to get a little bit concerned, and why wouldn't he? He's starting to get more than a little bit concerned. Look at Viper's stone. I mean, he's going to lose this castle. Can't really go for one over here because he has no army to support it. How coming in now. What a throw. How is it a throw? Mr. PR. I would not label this as a throw. In order it, for it to be a throw, you have to make very super obvious mistakes. I have not seen those for Viper. Why no organ guns? Very tough to get the mast and to, and to like have one area pushing against a setup like this from Hera. You kind of want to be pushing in like three different spots. Dave doesn't like labels. Well, like I think people misuse throw all the time. Just because you're in a winning position and then you end up losing the game, it doesn't mean it was a throw. Right? Like, if, if you can point out exactly what Viper fucked up here. One thing that Viper fucked up. I don't think you can. I think it's a combination of factors. This is just Hera being really fucking good. Castle on Monastery? Castle on Monastery is a good example. Does that change the current game state? I don't know. I don't think that's obvious. Hera right of map. Teamer right here. Fighting bears, bro. Yeah, I think you can make an argument for the late trebs there, right? Like, Viper didn't take advantage. Of the momentum he was building. He didn't add trips. He was busy getting his technologies in. And making castles defensively. And if anything. I mean. He's getting punished for playing way too defensively. And not being aggressive enough. Against Hera. Right. He should have made this castle with more villagers. He probably shouldn't have made this castle. He probably should have made another one over here. Or maybe another one over here. But that's all, like, super technical stuff. Those aren't, like, incredibly obvious decisions. Hera is pushing like crazy, dude. Hera is doing such a great job with these imp camels, with the skirmishers. Skirmishers to deal with the halves, imp camels to deal with the vills and the light cab and everything. But remember... Who we're talking about here, guys. It is Viper. With three relics. Okay. Almost all of his text research. 124 villagers. I don't know how long this game is going to go. But it would not surprise me. If Viper ends up pulling this one back. One tread down. Light cav raids in the back. Ooh, big light cav raids here. Beautiful light cav raids. Harris pop cap. He has no camels back here. Really solid stuff from Viper. Of course, he's going to clear up a lot of villagers. Free space for military. A great job there. Also has the treb set up. Taking care of this castle. Harris got a lot of trebs of his own. Six trebs to be exact. And Hera will attempt to go for a castle over here. He loses quite a few bills, though. 
And Viper takes down the castle. He's going to force the Trebs back. Hang on a second. Viper's now pop capped. He has the population lead. And the Oregon guns are here. How does that not kill the Treb? Tell me. Enlighten me. How does that not kill that Treb? Unbelievable. More stables for here. 24 only on food right now. For him. I guess the villagers have to go back to work over here. 41 on food now. That's better. Adding in more farms. Yeah, my man wants like... Hera wants like 75 farmers. He's even adding more villas. He's got 134. He's adding more. That farm placement? It's not so bad. That's not bad, dude. If you have handcart, those farms are not terrible. You're losing like... You're not even losing that much. Hera could raid the bottom side. Viper's castles are at a position. I mean, it's not that many villagers here anymore, right? They're all up here. This is a big push from Hera, though. Viper's raid opened up some population space for more military. Albs are going to fight Imperial Camel, and that is not the fight that Hera wants to take there with those Imp Camels. What on earth is that? Oh, my God. You know when you watch like slot streamers burning thousand dollar spins on turbo? That's what that fight felt like. For Hera. <laughs> We're gonna bonus any second here, guys. Bonus, bonus, bonus. Bonus us. But I mean, he's still overwhelming Viper, right? He's got the skirmishers here. He just doesn't have the siege to follow up. Lacking Imperial Camel numbers, but he still has skirmishers. He still has Hussars, and the fight continues. And we've we've found ourselves in a really good game too. Um, really, really good. I hope this game isn't won because of Feitorias. I think it's really difficult to mix in Feitorias here. I think it's very, very difficult to do that. You need your population space, right? Ooh, nice raid from Hera. Beautiful. Also, there's still gold and stone to take. Like, you can't, you just can't justify it at this rate. More farms for Viper. Oh my god, Omega Lol, that farms placement. <laughs> Redemption is in for Hera. And he's using his monks really well here to try and convert those bomber cannons. But that guy gets a cannonball straight to the dome. As Hera is pop capped again. And Viper is pushing out once more. It's a bad sign generally for Viper when he's in one of these long games. And he doesn't have a random 5,000 gold in the bank. It's quite a bad sign. Alb's still patrolling here. Should be able to deal with the Hussars. We still have the castles here, too. As we see the Hussar come in, try and send those Oregon guns. They're not going to find him. Viper shifting his army back over here again. He has not gone for a counterattack in a very, very long time. And he's very low on siege. And Hera will be going for a castle here. Okay, that farm is something. But we can tell where the other ones used to be. Hera backs up with the treads. That's very patient from Hera. That, that's a great job. A lot of people wouldn't have backed up with those. They would have kept those attacking, kept the skirmishers sitting here. And just bled the stone out from Viper's castle. 
But he's going to save those. And he's going to pull the halves into an engagement that he wants to take. Back near his own castle. Raid's coming in for Viper. There's another castle here, though. So not the greatest situation, for sure. Yeah, this castle's really solid. So now Viper, if he wants to go for a counter raid, he has to push in this way. And there's nothing to find here, because there's a castle here, here, and here, and here. It's absolutely nothing to find. So Viper's gonna have to win the main fight. Can't counter raid. I think Viper needs to wall a bit to make raids harder. Like, the Hussar are going to get back here regardless, right? Where are you going to wall? Here? They're going to get back in there regardless. Hinnistanis are back. We'll see. Harris packing up the Trebs again. Viper is going to take out a few of those. Still defending on this side, but Viper is down to 160 population. Does he have faith? Or not faith, uh, devotion. Does Viper have Archibus? No, I don't think he does. Managed to save those bomber cannons, though. He does? Okay. He does have Archivist. Wow. Oh, he does. Yeah, I mean, that would answer my question right there. Snipes the bomber cannon while it was moving. I did not see that coming in. He got Devotion and Castle H. Nice. Castle goes down from Hera. Viper on a little bit of a pushback once more, but he's still only 167 population and is losing more villagers. He's starting to bank up a little bit of gold, which is always a good sign for Viper. But then we look at Hera's resources. 71 on food. 3.5k in the bank. Almost 2k gold in the bank. Wood game. I mean, there's still some wood over here, but it might be a wood game for Viper. He's fighting over the wood in the center. Hera's got this castle to lock this down. He's still got wood on this side. He's still got some wood back here. Lots of wood over here Hera can take. And he's shifted over to try and take out this castle now. Viper's still at 164 population. Viper lost the relics. He did somewhere. And Hera's got two. Oh, the relics are right here. So Hera's already snagged one of those. Viper's going to be like, nope. <laughs> I'll take those. Is he making Phaetoria? Oh, he's making a TC. I was wondering why he was buying stone there. Making another TC at the back. Trebs have been cleared. Trebs have been cleared, but there's always more where that came from. Hera, two more trebuchets on the front. I think he's got more from somewhere else, too. All right, he's got these three, which he saved from before. Might want to go for Phaetoria. Uh, don't have the res. And ideally, if you're going to be fighting this, you want 200 population of villagers and military. I don't think Phaetoria was the answer this game. GG called. Well played from Hera. Really, really solid game from him. Very solid game from Hera. 
145 villagers being pressured over on this side. Viper maybe just didn't commit as hard as he needed to. But, like, he was trying to be safe, right? He was trying to have a measured approach, a little bit of a push, and a little bit of a defense. But Hera managed to overwhelm that army. And then never look back. Where can we get a stable count? I say 13. 23. I was 10 off. Okay. Well played. 1-1. One, one. Viper loses his home map. Outcroft. Although, I'm sure, like, both of these guys play these maps at such a high level. <laughs> it's kind of like, do we even, do we really have home maps at this rate? Oh, here we go. Into Sani's back at it again. Why is this called Middle East Tournament? Because of the host. Middle East Esports. Okay, I'm going to check up on the Canada Sweden scorer. They're not showing it. Two nothing! Ten seconds left in the second period. They feed it out to the front. Tries the shot. Sweden defender blocks. Canada. Feeds it back to the blue line. Circles around. Shoots it in. Man in front. Block. Another shot. Off the post. Fuck. Canada getting swept? Getting swept? Yeah, we beat Latvia 10-0. <laughs> we beat Finland 5-2. There's no getting swept here. If Sweden wins, Sweden wins. We'll get them again later. It's group stage, dude. We'll get them again later. It's the dynasty of Canada. It's world juniors, dude. <laughs> it's world fucking juniors. There's no dynasties. The, like, max the players play for a team for two years. <laughs> it ain't over till it's over. That's right. What's up, Pico? Kids are the future. Wow. That's deep, Cobra. Damn, Daniel, thank you for the 10 months. Ice cream, thank you for the 46. What did ice cream say? He said, what up, dorks? Uh-huh. Kilometers, thank you for the nine months where you had a kid. Um, 32 minutes ago, it's yours, not mine. What does first and second win money-wise for this tournament? I don't know. I think it's like 3K total prize pool or something. Uh, 2,000 euros. First will win uh, 800 euros. Second will win 400. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. For a couple days playing. 800, 400. It's not bad. Plus you get practice for NAC because it's the same uh, same settings. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. You should have heard your mom last night. She sounded like
like my great aunt when I pull a surprise visit she was like oh they also win bragging rights in the Dravidians feud assuming Dravidians come into play Mitch thank you for the 36 months Were they invited or did they qualify? What do I look like? What do I look like? Davidpedia? I don't. I don't know. My first day casting the tournament. I don't know. I don't know. Your camera is off. True. Where did the music go? It went away. All right, and it's not coming back. It's just like your dad. All right. So game three. <clears throat> Hera playing as Franks, Viper playing as Armenians, and we have Rocky Forest. Armenians are very good on this because, as you can tell, it is very rocky near the forest, so you can't put a lumber camp right there, but you can shuffle a mule cart right up on that. And if you want to go for the full wall, well, you can wall down here and then put the mule cart in the middle, and it'll block it off real nice. Also, Armenians can go for fortified churches, uh, you get that additional relic right away. You can secure a lot of the map. You know, you can have your mule cart roving around here collecting resources in the center. There's a lot of synergy. And you get warrior priests too. I was today years old when I found out that everybody has a dominant eye. Yeah, true. My dominant eye is my left eye. Which kind of doesn't jive with the fact that I'm right-handed. So, like, when I'm, you know, shooting a gun or a bow, I have problems with the aim. Because I usually have it up to my right shoulder uh, with the gun. And then with a bow, it's kind of slanted more towards my right. So I have to, like, you know have to adjust shoot left-handed it's just weird on the it, it's a little bit weird you know you got to get used to it just wear glasses or get lasik done that's not what we're talking about we're not talking about the prescription on each eye dominant eye is a different thing they have guns in canada i have i have a gun I like shooting. I think my dad and I might go to the range in uh, a couple days. There's a lot of guns in Canada, dude. <laughs> There's a lot of guns in Canada. <laughs> I once knew a guy with like 250 guns, I think. Do you hunt, Dave? No, I don't really like hunting. I just like shooting. All right, so Viper chasing the scout away from Hera, and Viper is kind of disrupting the deer push a little bit, although Hera's already gotten one of the Ibex in there. And uh, Viper is pushing in an Ibex of his own. Both players up at around the same time. Didn't think it was such a thing. Interesting. Well, anywhere with large rural populations, you're going to have a lot of guns, you know? Like, the, do the people in the cities have guns? Not really. But anywhere with, uh, like, a lot of people living in the country, you're going to have a lot of guns. Dude. It's just natural. Especially when there's, like, a lot of wildlife around. And you, ha you have nothing else to do but shoot, like, tin cans or gophers or whatever in your farmer's field. There's going to be a lot of guns. How many guns you have? Who Who's asking? <laughs> who's asking, dude? Where? What do you? Who do you work for? <laughs> Our CMV open up. Yeah. Viper coming forward with three villagers. What is it for? What does it all mean? He's going for an archery range. He will. He, he will likely make a mule cart. 
here and start collecting this stuff. Um, and Hera will probably just go for the stable. It's indeed a stable. Gets the wood upgrade, gets the farm upgrade for free, and continues to push in the Ibex. Doesn't seem all that concerned about this. Dave, keep that thing on him at all times. No, my gun uh, always has a, a trigger lock on it. Always has a trigger guard on it. I don't keep that thing lying around without the without it being locked. <clears throat> yep, Viper's gone for the mule cart. Skirmisher's coming out to deal with the spearmen. And his spearmen are trying to deal with the scout from Hera, but Hera's being very active with that thing. Really great job there. And this, this push is not too threatening for Hera. However, Viper is currently gathering extra food. Free food, right? Doesn't have to invest wood into it. Like the farms for Hera. And there's a lot of resources to be taken here, so Hera can't really just let him get away with this. Beautiful. And if Viper has extra villagers, he can even send more out to collect that food. Some idle time here, Viper. What are you looking at? What is so interesting over there? Maybe. Oh my god, he's hiding behind the bushes and he's spying on. It's probably his ex girlfriend's house. You'll never see me here. Oh, got a job to do. Maybe if I take my shirt off and chop wood in front of her house, she'll know what she's lost. He's just peeing? Yeah, maybe. Viper pushing villagers with just skirmishers. She will come back to him. <laughs> Copium. <laughs> and then the narrator kicks in, but she didn't come back. <laughs> this is slightly threatening. How many skirmishes does Hera have? Only one. Only one. And Viper is here with... Five and two spearmen. Viper could actually think about the pikeman upgrade right now. Could be useful. If he keeps the skirmisher numbers low from Hera, Armenians can get pikemen here in Feudal Age. Could really help against the villagers. Extra HP, extra attack. Is a relatively expensive upgrade for this stage of the game though. And Viper's getting the job done with just Spearman anyway. There goes one villager from Hera. Trying to stall out this tower as much as he can. He's going to take this villager. So a second one dying. Oh, he almost got into the tower. Hera almost escaped with him. It was so close. And Viper is forced to retreat. But Hera has invested the stone into that tower. Viper still has the stone available to him. Hera still running around with these scouts, has not killed the villagers in the center, and Viper's all the way over here now. And he's just going to come back for more. More skirms, more spearmen. Fletchy now on the way for the snake, too. As Hera continues to add in scouts. If at any point Viper stops adding spears, or Hera manages to snipe the spears, this army from him is incredibly vulnerable. Can Dave stop humanizing the villagers? <laughs> Never heard a complaint about humanizing something before. I've heard dehumanizing a lot. You're pr you're far too empathetic. Christmas ham with a good mustard is pog, Dave. You are not wrong, dude. Ham with like a really nice mustard is is good. I'm not talking about like French's or anything. I'm talking about like a good like Dijon or something that's really like you know something that like clears out your sinuses. That's three bills dead, by the way, and a mule cart. Bye bye. Viper was trying to be sneaky over here, but Hera knew. He just knew. 
So three villagers killed by Hera. Two villagers killed by Viper. What do you what do you call that? Like horseradish or mustard? Like what do you call that? It's not spicy. Is there a word for that? Like pungent? Stingy? Bitey? <laughs> Savaka? Alright. Sinapi? I love Sinapi, dude. I love it. So good. I still buy Finnish mustard. I remember once I was in Estonia and I had a I had a a stingy, spicy mustard eating contest. And I won. And there was some there were some brutal ones there, dude. There was some like you 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 eat that mustard? Good fight for Viper. Nice pushback here. Hera's gonna have to retreat with all the scouts. He's gonna lose all his skirms. Spearmen get a lot more value now. And Viper can actually think about Pikeman with seven spearmen, but I don't think he's gonna get it. I think he's gonna be focused on Castle Age. He'll go for market. Um You had some, dude. Like your nose wasn't working for like the next two days. Like you had some mustards there that oof. Estonian mustard is bomb. Dude, Estonian mustard and Finnish mustard, dude. Sinapi. Oh, man. So good, guys. So good. Yeah, like, wasabi. Wasabi is... I have never had fresh wasabi. I want to try fresh wasabi. I've tried, like, the wasabi substitutes and stuff. And, like, the really strong stuff. It's nothing compared to the Estonian and Finnish stuff that I tried. Especially the Estonian stuff. That that stuff hit different. Fresh wasabi is a lot different. That's what I've heard, but it expires very quickly, right? Okay, Castle H on the way for both. Skirm still just, you know, pressuring up this side. Scouts get another villager. And we can see Viper. I mean, it's just cute, right? The little setup he has over here. It's beautiful. It's a nice, peaceful village. Still roaming around with these skirms, though. Still cutting off some farms. Keeping Hera's skirms at home. Viper will add his stable, and it's likely that he'll go for a fortified church. Probably defensively at first. Because he wants to keep that relic that will be auto-generated at home. And then he can maybe go for some warrior priests or maybe make a second fortified church for the forward here. Get pikemen on the way up. That's what he's doing. Pikemen's in. Ooh, big hits. Nice hits on the scouts there. If he's going warrior priests or monks, taking out Hera's scouts is, is beautiful. You know, force him to make more. First Fortified Church is indeed forward. And Elite Skirm on the way for Hera. Knights on the way for Hera. Farming Eco is a bit concerning right now because Viper is stalling a lot. He's got these pikemen back here to defend, so it's not like Hera can just patrol the knights back and clear this. He's got to... Focus on the micro here, take out the pikemen first, and then go for the skirmishers. And while that's happening, Viper is just pushing forward. Going out to more stone now. Still trying to defend here with these pikemen and skirmishers, trying to buy as much time as he can. Elite skirm is in now for him. Hera's still taking a ton of damage on these knights. And we know Hera's just going to heal these knights up, but it's going to take time, right? That's three knights that are maybe out of commission until he gets that monastery and the monk out. So he pulls them away here, and he's just going to keep them back, and he's going to go for the monastery, heal up the knights. But like I said, out of commission for the foreseeable future. He doesn't want to use those. 
Great job from Viper with that army that was never really giving him that much value. Another TC going up from Viper at the back here. Monks are coming out. I can grab the relics, deal with the knights a little bit. And he's looking to be in an okay position. Hera's also looking to be in a, a fairly decent position, right? Already has that second TC up a little bit faster. 20 placed farms. Viper with 13. Hera has the second farm upgrade automatically, but Viper has the second wood upgrade. And with Armenians, what is it? Is it 40% more effective now? They buffed it up, right? God, this has to be so annoying. Monks just popping out of fortified churches and converting is so stupid. They should allow villagers to garrison in there, but not monks. Warrior priests as well, but not monks. This chat is weirdly really knowledgeable in wasabi. It's a dude. It's a bunch of weebs and neats. Well, you know this. <laughs> they know everything there is to know. <laughs> I'm not a neat. That's exactly what a neat would say. What's a neat? Google it. I'm pretty neat. Thanks for noticing. You're welcome. Skirmishers and knights against warrior priests. And Viper's going to lose these warrior priests. Although the knights are doing very limited damage to them. It's actually kind of surprising. Viper has a knight of his own. He's still going after the skirms here. Goes for a third TC. Hera's working on his third as well. This dude is like, can I go home now? It's leg day at the mill. And now he's going to carry this guy back. There's another relic here too. So Viper can have three relics pretty soon. Fifty-nine villagers for Hera, fifty-eight villagers for Viper. Those warrior monks rail. Yeah, buddy. Things are good. Viper's just fully focused on taking out these skirms, too. He's <laughs> like, he's been so distracted with the skirms. It's actually kind of crazy. And Hera is now coming forward with a, an intense castle. Big castle in the center. He's on the other side of this TC. So if Viper wants to retreat. It's not really happening. That fortified church is doing very limited damage to these vills. And I think even if Viper went for like another fortified church here, the monks could just reheal all of the damage that was being done to them. So I think Viper's kind of in trouble. I like the use of the mule cart here though. Blocking the knights out. And what's the long-term plan here for Viper? Hera is now taking control of most of this center area. Viper has cut through, so he can get over here if he wants to. But the Warrior Priests are not going to match up too well against the Knights. They won't be able to charge that castle. And Hera is all over his eco, so there's not even really time for a counterattack. Very difficult situation. Great job from Hera here. Board TC going up from Hera. Siege workshop behind. Farm Eco's looking solid. Still villagers on stone, too. I don't know why Hera picked French Cav. No bloodline shit Cav. Brother, it's the same HP. You know that, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> we need to replay all this shit. He thought he got away with it. He thought he got away with it. I'll just see myself out. One second here. Nope. Nope. 
HGG. Hell of a good game. Or hug. For short. Great job from Hera. Really, really solid. Good night pressure there. Uh, everything leading up to Castle Age seemed kind of favored towards Viper, right? Until Hera managed to snipe those three bills, and then he equaled out the eco. And then uh, when he cleared up this army, Viper didn't really have all that much here. It's like he wasn't prepared for knights. Egg. Which is kind of strange. Viper would have been fine if he just went for regular monks, memeing around in finals against Hera. Uh, I don't think you're correct. Because the skirms were also here. He did open monks. Warrior priests are not really a meme either. Quite good. I do not think you are correct with that assessment. Bar two to one. Still two zero for Sweden over Happy Canada. So Canada, hello. Dave was my English name in school. <laughs> Dave was your English name. Thank you for the five months. Appreciate it. Angus Pancake, thank you for the seventeen. Alexander, thank you for the 13. What sport? It's uh, World Juniors of Hockey. It always, it, it's a Canadian tradition to watch it. It always starts on Boxing Day, which is the 26th. And then it carries through to like January 5th or 6th or something. The New Year's Eve game is usually Canada versus the States. <laughs> or we're hoping. It actually happens that way quite a bit. Uh, Rocky for a swing. Copenhagen. Bengalis against Bohemians. I think beating Sweden at home will be hard, though. True. He never beat a Swede in, in, inside of his own house. Come on, Canada. I expect goals. Sweden's on the power play. Come on. Shorthander. Thank you for being here, everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you for the follows. Everything like that. Don't you just beat the Swedes in the knockout rounds? Yeah, they usually do lose after group stage. They burn out. But, I mean, we want to go Jeez. undefeated in the tournament, right? That, that's the goal. It's not just about winning. It's Canada in hockey. Like, there's a different level of expectation, you know? Okay, Hera bringing in the board there. Welcome to Copenhagen, where you start with a king. But don't worry, no one's ever lost their king in a dramatic fashion. The king is such a non-factor on this map. No one's ever lost it. Especially not in, like, dark or feudal age. It's never happened. It doesn't exist. Hera might be the goat now. Too soon, bud? Too soon for what? It's never happened. Now, we have ponds down here. And then we have a river system or an ocean or a lake or whatever this is up here. It's probably, you know, an ocean. It's probably the Baltic. Because... It's Denmark. 
Right. Or we're assuming it's Denmark, because this is Copenhagen. North Sea? North Sea is different from what borders uh, Copenhagen. It's Gaspé, Quebec. <laughs> really fast sub time here for Hera playing as the Bengalis. He will get two additional villagers as soon as he hits feudal age. So it's probably smart to go fast up. And he'll probably go for some water pressure here with his uh, fast healing ships. He's also getting a little bit aggressive with this king. But I mean, the king has an umbrella, so why not get aggressive, right? If it rains, he'll be protected. When have Viper and Hera ever met in a final before? When haven't they met in a final? Is Canada's accent different from the US USA's? Yeah. Well, it's very regional, right? Like, I just have a fairly general Canadian accent. Oh my god, Viper's king is being chased. <laughs> he doesn't care. Um... But there's different ones. There's like super rural accents. This is a feudal scout against a king. And when the king is attacked, it stops moving, Viper. We know this, Viper. We know this. Hera's now trying to block the king. He's going after the king with a scout. No, it can't happen again. Hera pulls away. And now he's going to try and block the scout of Viper. And Viper is on top of that king. And he is going to successfully escape. Now he's going to come back and try and block. He's taking the risk here. Hera attacking the king once more. And Hera, Viper, both housed. <laughs> because they're very busy. <laughs> Viper's Omega house, dude. Oh, God. Wheelbarrow. Viper is giga house. He had all feudal age to worry about a house. But you can understand why he didn't. He was kind of busy with more important things. That is a non-loomed villager at very low HP, my friend. Hera has fishing ships out here. He's got fish at the top. He's gone for the fire galley. Viper will also go for a fire galley to protect himself. And Viper did not go for the fast castle approach, right? It's like, it's not a very good opening for him. Not at all. At least the king didn't die. He's also going to lose this 1v1 because Bengali ships heal over time. Unless he can pull it back behind the dock, which he does. Might be able to repair the ship, which he's doing right now. But still, Hera has a better economy. A much better economy. Two extra villagers from getting to Feudal Age. Um, and then he's got the extra fish down here. Like, much, much better. Viper's dead. What was the plan here for Viper? What was the plan? Why didn't Viper just click the king back home and, and build a house? Because every time the king is attacked, it stalls out. So you have to keep clicking the, the king back manually. You need all your focus over there. What was the plan? I honestly don't understand. What Viper's thought process was here. Maybe he just panicked with the king and he couldn't get everything set up that he wanted to. But, like, he goes up super late. He's only contesting one one area on water, which he loses. He doesn't go fast castle. Maybe Hera's build is just so sick. It, 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 like, it just makes Viper look super slow on his uptime. Yeah, the king stuff might have been super disruptive for Viper. 26 vils versus 28. 
You can make that 30 as soon as Hera gets to Castle Age. And Viper's Eco is in absolute shambles. He got one. He got one. There we go. Spearman Rush was the plan. He got one. Ladies and gentlemen, he got one. And now we wonder, like, what can he do here in Castle Age? I think he's going to go for a couple Hussite wagons, maybe, and then some, uh, some Boomage. But Bengali's players should be ahead the whole way. You can see Hera's just even going for another dock, and he's going to make more fishing ships. I think he realized his Viper's done on water up here. Also scouting around this area. Looking for the villager coming forward, maybe for a dock on this side. Viper will loop the Spearman all the way back around, and he actually might kill this villager if he sees it. Unlikely, though. Viper literally got wheelbarrow as soon as he got up. That's super disruptive. Yeah, but he didn't he didn't have enough res for a fast castle anyway. Even if he hadn't got wheelbarrow. Laming the deer is nice. Laming the deer is really great, actually. Although Hera will have more than enough food because of the fishing ships. It's still too much res too early. Yeah, I mean, it's not great, but that's why I was asking about the plan. Because the plan was not fast castle. And if the plan was fast castle, then he screwed up the build somewhere earlier than Wheelbarrow. What? Memeing? No, I think that was a misclick. I would assume that's a misclick on the hotkeys to go for a militia. He probably meant to make another spearman. He's going clubbing? Yep. How's that wagon rolling over too? Militia's going to survive. Ayo. And Viper's selling some more food so he can get a monk. He got fervor as well, so his villagers will be very speedy. And he's managing to keep his TCs producing. But Hera is ahead on villager count right now. 38 villagers versus 32. Because of Bengalis. And he also has 13 fishing ships. And Viper has zero. So if we look at total res collected, Hera is ahead by a casual 1,700. This is good, though. Those, um, those fishing ships will have problems coming home. I'll drop this off. And I'm not sure how well a fire galley does against a Hussite wagon. I've never seen this battle. I kind of want to. <laughs> the Hussite wagon wins that one. Viper might be able to pull it into the Spearman too. Meanwhile over here, Lightcap trying to get in. Viper doesn't want to let those through the gate. He could have hopped in the tower over the wall with that monk. Maybe he didn't think about it. And he'll snag the relic anyway. Historically accurate. Well, I mean, if you see a, a Hussite wagon, right? IO rel. Long time ago. Medieval country far, far away. And you're a fire ship. You're not going to be able to do any damage to that thing. Your fire can... Dude, your fire can only range like 
How, like 20 feet, maybe? Not very far. The hot side wagon, though, those bullets, like, you could catch some strays. Fifty-four villagers for Viper. Fifty-seven for Hera, and Redemption is on the way. Viper has gone for a dock down here, though, and he's starting to take out the fish. So he's starting to be a little bit of a threat. He wants to stop Hera from getting that transport ship out and stealing these three relics. Also wants to stop Hera from denying him access to all these resources. And Viper's slowly starting to bring himself back into this. But transport ship is here. Hera's sending more monks over. He might just do one trip and snag all of these. That'd be pretty devastating for Viper. I mean, Viper has managed to get two relics out of the center area. But if he gives the three of these to Hera, I mean, that's pretty bad, right? Hera's going in. Is he? Got three on gold. 162 gold in the bank. Is the score difference because of water? Yeah. yeah. 14 fishing ships. It's pretty brutal, Rev. Also, the two converted Hussite wagons, all of the light cab, the monks. Chemistry on the way for Viper. Castle Age Chemistry. And here come the archery ranges. So, hand cannons. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. Got to do something different here. The Hussai wagons aren't working. Your eco is still far behind. Does Viper have town watch? Can't see those transports. Or the transport there with the monks waiting to get in. If he could, oh man, he could garrison these fires at the last second. Snipe the transport with all the monks inside. That would be so funny. Come on, Viper! Come out for the transport! Come on, Viper! No, go over there, Viper! See it! Move, dude! Go this way! Oh my god, the monks are on the island! Oh my god! It's now a game of cat and mouse. Does Hera hop inside this transport ship? Does he continue to try and convert these fires? He's got one monk outside of it. He's going back for the monk. <laughs> and he gets the fire galley. And Viper won't be able to clear this up in time. Those monks are going to get home with their relics. And Hera's on the way to Imperial Age. Where did the relics go if they die inside the transport? The closest area to land. It's either the closest land to them or the spot where they were loaded in. I think it might be the spot where they were loaded in. I think that's it. <clears throat> they respawn where they were loaded. Okay, there you go. Viper's on the way up to him, too. He's gonna have hand cannons coming out. Still housed. Omega housed. Giga housed. And a lot of stone. But Hera will be pushing him from this side. Man, you can you can tell that Viper is starting to slip a little bit with the little things. He might be tired. Still having some good games though. Villagers coming forward. 10 villagers. Will it be a doubt castle? That's the question. I don't know what Hera has to deny this. He's got monks. The only place he doesn't have outposts is over here, but he does see that with the tower. And the monks are shifting over to take a look. This is a really dangerous position, though. If Viper manages to hold this, really, really tough for Hera to do much about. And you can see Viper now dealing with this Hussite wagon. The hand cannon should be able to take care of that. And Hera's going to have to have full focus over here now. Oh. Monk gets shot in the face. What a betrayal. 
What a betrayal. That was a member of his flock. Absolutely blasted in the face by that hand cannon. Bomber cannon's coming out. 88 villagers for Viper. Devotion. Nilly Prey for Devotion. I saw the Nilly Devotion uh, mod in my Discord. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Piece of art. And Hussite. No, Wagenberg Tactics. Not Hussite Reforms. Wagenberg Tactics to make the Bomber Cannons and the Hand Cannons faster for Viper. Bomber Cannons can be an issue. They can be because Bengalis don't get access to them. So Hera will need to go for Monk Technologies to deal with those. And now with Devotion being available to Viper, the Monks are a little bit worse against the Bomber Cannons than they used to be. You can see Hera getting block printing, fervor, all of that. All that jazz. Hufnitsa, Hufnitsa, bro. I mean, he's so far away from Hufnitsa. I'm going to win the scratch and win lottery ticket before Viper gets Hufnitsa. I'm close. I'm literally closer. Zero on gold, that's right. Where is his gold? He's got gold up here he can take. More hand cannons over here. Remember, Hera has five relics versus the two from Viper. So Viper is trying to push this back early. Hera's going into skirmishers and he's going into light cap. <laughs> this Trev is cooking, man. You all, your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax break just for hanging out with you. That Trev is really cooking. Someone, something needs to be done about that. Maybe like a water bucket. Or some sand. Okay, a hammer. That'll work. Second castle dead. Hera. He's at 200 population. 145 villagers. But Viper still is a really nice advanced position. Remember that these monks have extra pierce armor with Bengali, so... It's not much being done against these. By the skirmishers. Treb's now pushing forward here. How will Viper be able to defend against this? He really does need Hufnitsa. Like, that would be super help. <laughs> Don't even bother, dude. It's not worth your time. My man's trying to attack around a random villager coming from the other side of the map. It's it's simply not worth your time, my dude. And now Hera is pushing forward how many villas? He's pushing forward with 14 villagers, four a castle, two trebs backing this up behind. The bomber cannons are on their way. The skirms and the hand cannons are on their way. There's still some hand cannons over here that could be useful. But Hera is successfully distracting Viper here. And Viper's push at the front just isn't happening anymore. Viper will be going for a defensive castle right underneath all of these trebs. And he better clear these up fast. Looks like he's going to take out one. He's going to take out a second. And now he'll have the bomber cannons in position to kill this castle as soon as it goes up. If he can defend this side. And it looks like Hera's on the way with more monks, more light cap. Maybe not the smartest castle ever there from Hera. Maybe not the best castle ever, right? Viper just leaves. Okay, pulls him back. <laughs> it's like, why are you leaving? There's a castle here. Why are you leaving? Where are you going? There we go. Okay. Viper is at 109 villagers. Hera is at 140. No Hussar for Bengalis. 
Alb could be great for Viper, and it looks like he wants to make that tech switch. Hera's got his light cap on sand ground. That's unfortunate. Good attack rounds there for the snake. And only eight kills right now on these bomber cannons, but you can see it climbing much higher. If Viper is protective enough of these units. Nice kills. We need helps. We need pikemen. Albert Research on the way. Still 180 population for Hera, 150 roughly for Viper. More stables pushing forward from Hera. More monasteries from Hera. He's finding lots of gold access. Got plenty of gold in the bank. And now he's pushing back this castle over here from Viper. If Viper can repair that, he might be able to snipe these shrubs with the bomber cannon, but he's not paying attention. He's paying attention over here. And now this bomber cannon is dead. Oh. Okay. Well, it's, it's dead now. Good gate from Viper. Denying the raid from Hera. Final infantry armor coming in. The bomber cannons still live. 23 kills on these bad boys now. Devotion has already come in clutch. You've seen the extended conversion times. That's like the first bomber cannon I think Hera's converted this game. And Viper somehow keeps this guy alive. How? Wow, those Bohemian helps just absolutely shredded the light cap there from Hera. That was actually kind of insane, but Hera's still pushing on this side. Krebs pushing in. Monks behind. Light cab behind. Skirmishers behind those light cab. Villagers on the way back from his forward position that he had to abandon there. Viper. And the eco is not looking great, but... Nisa coming in. That's the monastery with the relics in it. Okay, Jeeves. Stop. <laughs> You're way too comfortable here. <laughs> Minute and 15 seconds away from Ufnitsa. Siege Engineers, too. That is unbelievable. Viper believes in himself. He says, if I'm going to win this game, if I'm winning this game, it's being with my ultimate composition here. Halb Ufnitsa. He's going to put all the gold he has into it. And I think, I think it's better than anything the Bengalis can really do. The problem... Do you see that Cav teleport, by the way? The problem is that um, it's going to be very difficult to get into. Elephant archers are, in, are good. Elephant archers are good. I don't know if they beat Halb Skirm who needs a long term though. Nice shots there on the Skirms. 20k res difference, wow. Man, those fishing ships, right? Got so much value from them early, and he used them to expand his eco, and he's been consistently at 140 villagers, most of it. Three of Nitsa. Alb's in front. Skirmishers in front. Viper trying to take out the monks. He gets both of them. The conversions haven't been hitting for Hera, and you have to wonder how much of that is because of devotion. Definitely feels like Hera should have gotten more conversions than he has. But we haven't really watched a game like that, or like this, since the tech was brought in. So maybe this is just the new normal. Oh, he's going to get some here. Unless Viper can pull back in time. 
He does, and he goes for the gate. Oh my god. But of course, it's a palisade gate, so. Ugh. If he manages to save these, that's kind of sick. He'll lose one. He will save the second one. But he's still at 150 population. Viper casually brings back the relics. Doesn't really even have the wood to keep the Hufnitsa coming out. And he says HGG again. What does it mean? Hera goes ahead 3-1. What does it mean? HGG. Yo, Hobbit, thanks to the 21s, dude. A2. 8B. Thank you. For the 33, it's been a long time, dude. Hyper good game. Hecking good game. Hera good game. Highly good game. Home garden game. What? Hacking good game. <laughs> Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax break just for hacking. Hadouken good game. Harukan, <laughs> good game. <laughs> hmm. Harukan. Yo. Rebarber. Thank you for the three months. All right, so uh, that is a win for Hera on Copenhagen. And a Fuck you all. Your lives win are so sad. I get a tax for Bengali's loss you. for Bohemians. And once again, we just have to ask, what was the plan there from Viper? Oh, come on, Canada. There's a minute and 49 seconds left in the game, and Sweden's on the power play for the next minute and 40. What is going on? Why do we keep taking penalties, dude? Viper primetime is gone. I think Viper is probably a better player now than he was in his quote-unquote prime. The problem is that everyone else has improved up to his level. What game is he talking about? Uh, World Juniors. I just have it. I have it on the other screen. I've been watching it this whole time. On and off. Come on, Canada. Minute left. 47 seconds left, and you're on the penalty kill. <laughs> Fuck. What, are we going to pull the goalie? <laughs> No Spangler Cup enjoyer. Spangler Cup is <sighs> competitively, it's a joke. I don't. I don't. I. I. I think that's basically commonly realized. It's an interesting idea, though, bringing teams from different countries. But no one good plays in it. Game over. Sweden wins 2-0. They played well. From what I could see. That's why Team Canada is a record holder. I look at our Spengler Cup teams, and I'm a hockey fan. And on average, I can recognize about maybe four or five names of guys that used to play in the show. And were demoted. It's always like Rick Hickshaw from the Hershey Bears. Or like Mickey Humperdink from Kamloops. Kamloops. I forget what Kamloops team name is. 
But like Ricky Humperdinck ain't been good in years, you know? All right, here we go. Viper playing as Tutans, Hera playing as Slavs, and we were on Enclosed, and Slavs are kind of nasty on Enclosed with Hera's Micro. Leary and Hera play them really well here. They play that Monk, Light Cav, Knight mix-up, right? We'll see how well that plays against Tutans. Tutans have the conversion resistance. Tutans have a good farm eco of their own. It's cheaper than the Slavs. Not as fast, but cheaper. And uh, Tutan Knights are slower, but they pack a punch. Can I bet on the outcome? You can bet right now. Currently, we have 10.5k points versus 300k. What on earth? Okay, someone just dropped a bomb on Viper's name. I see what happened there. Too much melee armor in this matchup. Units will never die. Yeah. <laughs> you get Boyars against Paladin in the late game. Boyars against uh, Teutonic Knights. Big. Huge. Students have all the answers against Slavs. I think Herod just might get ahead in economy. I don't know. I think Slavs have the mobility advantage for sure. Especially when you're looking at like contesting the relics. Their monks are so quick. Take a look at the gold positions. Good good generation for Hera. Really nice to have a gold back here. And then a gold, like, not too far forward. Really, really solid. Sometimes you get screwed over. And we look at Viper's main gold. It's great. Viper's main gold is fantastic. Unfortunately, his secondaries are not as easy to access as Hera's. So that's sometimes where you get screwed. But fortunately, he does have a good main one. He's got a better main gold than Hera does slightly but at least like his main and his secondary both aren't over on this side what a historic battle we had for real corner check no mm, no mm, no it's okay Wow, what a wonderful audience we have. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are great here. Hey, I haven't seen a crowd like this. I've never seen a crowd like this. I'm wonderful. Not you, Hoyo. The rest of them. We need like just sorry. We need like some kind of break here as both players are building up. What am I going to talk about? The Civ matchup? We've already discussed that. Corners, check. Literally. Scouting. I mean, they're just starting now because it's nine villagers and no one scouts anymore. They just push in deer. I really hope Viper wins. I think a lot of people really hope Viper wins. Talk about Connor Bedard. I mean, he's he's good. He's good. Don't run into the TC Viper. It's enclosed. Thank you. Connor Bedard's great. He's going to be an excellent player. Scored a filthy wrister. The Michigan goal. The funny thing about the Michigan goal is that it was the second best Michigan goal that same night. Zegris goal was better than Connor Bedard's. And it gets no fucking attention, dude. Because he did it later in the night. Zegra's goal was nasty. It was filth. Like, Bedard's was great, too, but... How about them Coyotes? Coyotes are actually okay, dude. Is Dave short for something? David. Wow. Talking about ice hockey again? Yeah. 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 Big hockey guy. Specifically NHL. 
All right, so it's Spearman and Scouts coming forward from Hera. It's Spearman and Scouts from Viper, surprising nobody. And the poke battle commences. Viper should be able to win this one. Hera pulls away. And Hera goes forward with the Scouts. Spearmen are forward there, so Viper will have to make another one in defense, but he's fine. Viper just kind of exploring over on this area. We'll see if either player decides to add the Archer engine. Or if we just have a continuation of this until Castle Reach. Not Dravidian? No. I think Slabs are so much better here on a close than Dravidians. <laughs> Why would you go Dravidians here? Dave is short for Dave Matthews Band. True. I really love those, you know, the Dave Matthews Band. I love the middle-aged housewife vibe. Just really like making music in that genre. It's arguably my favorite genre. Why Viper no loom? Oh, I didn't even realize that. He didn't need it. <laughs> Did Hera have it? Hera's got it. I didn't even realize that, dude. I just assumed he had loom. He didn't need it. He walled in the villager on the berries. He was fine. Now he's going to extend out to the gold soon enough. Now he needs it. Have you read any good books lately? Uh, Only books that I've read before. I'm not working on any new books. God, I read that Mistborn series because I heard the follow-up to the Mistborn series, whatever it's called, is really good and that I should... Read Mistborn first so that I get acquainted with the lore. But it was like, oh. Had some good bits. I like the ideas behind it, but the characters were just, ugh. Ugh. Had the exact same reaction to that series. Well, I, I've heard the other one is good. And the reason I was reading Mistborn was so that I could read the follow-up. What an amazing fight we have here. Spearman against Spearman. Scouts versus Scouts. Mono a mono. Teuton versus Slavs. What's the follow-up? I don't remember what it is. Wheel of Time is better. Wheel of Time is my probably my favorite book series of all time. It obviously has issues with it, and people love shitting on Wheel of Time, which I think some of it's justified, a lot of it isn't, though. But I probably read the whole Wheel of Time series probably like 15 times. And it's a big series. Is the new Aragon book good? He made a new one? Lord of the Rings is goat, hands down. Uh... Yes and no. Wheel of Time is a much better, like, skim read, you know? If you just want to chill. Song of Ice and Fire is the best, even if it's not ending. W Game of Thrones? As we see Spears and, uh, and Scouts still doing their thing here. Bloodlines came in for Viper. No Bloodlines for Hera. I would say up until Season 5, Game of Thrones is one of the very few things where the show is better than the books. And I read the books before the show came out. The books are very good. But the show is better. I know that's going to be an unpopular opinion. Uh, obviously, the later seasons really ruined it. But uh, the show was much more engaging for me. And that's very rare for me to say. Very, very rare. Nice snipes here from Viper. One, two villagers, three. Look at the eco KDE. Five to one in favor of Viper. 
Bloodlines is paying off there. Viper's Eco is looking solid. 26 on farms already. Look at the way he's managed to fit so many farms in here. Hera's got 20 farms. Viper's got 23, and he's still got some berries left over. Market coming up. Second stable as well for Viper. Pull himself back into the series here. He's definitely got the advantage so far. And Hera's low on gold. Like, he needs a market here to sell a little bit and go up. You should withhold your judgment on the books until they're all published. So you mean until he dies and then someone takes over for him and actually starts writing stuff? Okay. You could just say, wait until George R. R. Martin is dead. It's basically the same thing as the books being published. Because we all know that next one is not coming out. Brandon Sanderson will finish it? Good. I hope so. Did a good job with Wheel of Time. Castle Age on the way for both players. It was supposed to be done in 2017. Bro, I've been waiting for that book forever. Viper's going to snipe another villager? No. Or maybe he's still got the Spearman here. Does have forging on those Spearmen. Could take it out. Team Canada shit the bed while they were dumb. It was 2-0, bro. <laughs> wow, they were dummied, man. 2 nothing. Holy shit. They had three more shots than us, I think. <laughs> I wouldn't say dummy. I'd say we got beat. For sure. Least season Canadian hockey fan. We'll end up winning the whole thing anyway. Mark my words. We'll win the whole thing. Light cap coming in for Hera. Second wood upgrade in for Hera. We'll probably add the Monastery. Get the light cap upgrade before adding in Knights here. Remember that his gold income has been very limited. Because Viper has been hanging out around here with the Spearman and the Scouts. He's done a really great job. He's keeping the Spearman forward. So that Hera can't really engage with his own Scouts against this. And then he can use his Scouts to pick off these Vils. But Hera now with light cap... He's going to take that fight. He's going to clear this up. Viper will go for two additional town centers behind this. Playing 60 minutes of hockey, not scoring one goal. It's not that unusual. The goal is very small, and the goalie is very big. That's why hockey is boring. Okay. <sighs> Wheelbarrow on the way for Viper. Fudiko is still looking solid for Hera, relatively. The food economy for Viper is still looking quite solid as well. And Harry can't do much about these TCs being placed. There's too many pikemen around. Viper will go for his first monastery. Harry's already got his. And a monk is on the way. But Viper, once again, with pikemen just sitting here. The whole game. Seems like ever since mid feudal age, he's just been sitting here with spearmen, scout. Now it's pikemen knight. And Hera really needs that gold to keep the knights and the monks coming out. How is he going to collect that gold with all this going on, though? To be honest, hockey has nothing on the thrill of baseball. I think playoff hockey is the best sport you can watch. And I watch almost all sports. Playoff baseball is pretty fucking insane too. It's really intense. Playoff hockey is like Champions League late stages on steroids. Isn't baseball absolutely nothing happening for four hours? Yeah, I mean, if you don't know what's going on, you're going to say that, right? I could say the same thing about cricket or rugby. 
Or soccer, for that matter. Big clear up here from Hera. Really solid job. Viper managed to snipe that monk. Hera's going to try and go for a fourth TC. Third TC, sorry. I thought he already had a third TC. No, that's his third right there. And Viper's going to discover this with the knights. Can he break through here? It's going to be tough for Hera to keep these walls repaired, especially with the monks so far away. Seven knights coming in. I don't think you can say that about rugby. I mean, like, you see the hard hits and everything and the struggles and whatnot, but then you sit there for, like, ten minutes in a game just watching them go back to the scrum every single time. They kick it out, and then they're back in the scrum again. They kick it out, and they're back in the scrum, and there's no fucking movement. So I can make an argument that rugby can be pretty boring for the majority of the game. If it's a good matchup, then it can be pretty exciting. Devotion is in. Devotion adding to the Teuton conversion resistance. How long does it take to convert that, that knight? He never gets converted. <laughs> the monk goes down. Viper charges in boldly with his knights. He's trying to take out this monk, and he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Relic gets yeeted even further away from the monastery. Viper will back up again, and Viper is even getting the infantry armor for his spearman. He's adding in more barracks on this side, more stable on this side. And Farmiko up to 34 farms placed, 39 on food total. Looking like a really solid economy. Hera... He's at 26 slab farms. With wheelbarrow in, heavy plow on the way. Yeah, devotion mixed with the Teuton conversion resistance seems really... I mean, it, you had to know it would be, right? Let's take a look at the relic count right now. Viper's got two. Harry doesn't have any yet. He's just picking up this one right now. He's doing a good job with his light cap, though, preventing Viper from easily getting these ones. So there's two left on this side. Viper will probably get this one. But that's going to be pretty far out of reach. Pikeman coming forward. Production is there from Viper. Three barracks producing. Two stables producing currently. He's got the TCs, Pump and Vils behind that. And idle TC time, really solid too. One minute and 17 seconds idle TC time for him. Under two minutes for Hera. And Hera's now on four TCs. Great eco for both. Pretty good military numbers for both. Keeping themselves safe, building towards that late game. Now, in the late game, do we favor Teutons here? Feels like Teutons are just really good against any Civ that's going to focus on melee units. Even with Drazina. Like, Drazina's really solid, but Teutons are just... Oof. Things are just sick. They get bombard cannons too. They get hand cannons, which is huge. If Drazina comes out, the two two knights are actually response. I think hand cannons would probably be the immediate one, right? I think probably just hand cannons. Will this knight be converted? <laughs> Hera's like, nope, not getting that. <laughs> we need maximum value from this monk. Quick, heal the pikeman just a little bit. <laughs> he turned away from that. He gave it two seconds, and then he turned away, and here we go. Viper has three melee armor. These pikemen are literally doing two damage per, per poke. 
Oh boy. Nice raid from Viper in on the wood line. Hera will go for his first castle over here. He still hasn't completed that though. Was he denied off that earlier? I think he left with some villagers. He's coming back now because the knights were there initially from Viper. And here we go again. The poking has resumed. Viper sending villagers forward. Almost has enough for a castle. Bop. Bop. Hera's going to try and out boom. Viper just building this castle with three villagers. And that's it. But he's protecting it with the outrageous numbers of pikemen. 32 pikemen. Hera's got four barracks producing pikemen. He's got 16 in the queue. He's gone for another TC. A fifth town center. He is just going to try and outboom the pressure. This Viper also has a mangonel. Arson is on the way for the pikemen. There's no pressure over on this side. Viper is sending all of his stuff around and he's grabbing extra relics too. So that's a third relic for Viper. Should probably be able to grab this one. And he's through the stable. Not building that, uh, not building that castle in much of a hurry. But honestly, once that castle's up, Teutonic Knights, I guess you use it for traps, but Teutonic Knights could unironically be so sick here. Like, you already have the infantry upgrades. They could be so good, and they produce really quickly, too. Told you? Well, they're not the be-all, end-all in this Civ matchup, though. Like, hand cannons is way more viable. It's just that you have the castle for them. I don't care. They're cooler. True. They are cooler. They're a lot cooler than hand cannons. They are orders of magnitude cooler than hand cannons. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, hell yeah. Teutonic Knights on the way out. Pikeman fighting Pikeman. Brother against brother. And Hera calls the GG as Viper gets in. Beautifully played there with the Teutons. Viper is famous for his plays with the Teutons. He loves this save. He thinks they're underrated. It has for a very long time. And they turn out to be super solid here in this Civ matchup. I think he knew Hera would go slabs here. Hera probably knew he'd go Teutons. Good eco there for Viper. Teutons. Perfect. Ego, thank you for the seven months. America, hell yeah. Yeah, why America? <laughs> Man saying America after the Teutons win. Hell yeah. USA. <laughs> We need to build a wall to keep out the Teutons. True. And they have to pay for it. Bro. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. What are the maps left? Hippopotamus, Arabia. Okay. At least Tahara has Dravidians for Hippopotamus. Wouldn't it be wild if Hera picked Dravidians for the 50 gifted subs and then ends up losing the set because of it? So if they go Arabia, it's going to be Vietnamese Mayans, right? <clears throat> and 
and then it should be Japanese Vietnamese or Japanese Dravidians on hippopotamus. Surprised he drafted them to begin with. Apparently, someone gifted 50 subs for him to draft them first. What decides map? Loser of the last game usually decides the map. No Lithuanians in draft? Um, no. That, so what this doesn't have is the random Civ ban. Which is interesting. That's something that's going to be... Uh, Present in NAC. When are you traveling to NAC? Uh, next week at some point. IMO that's really disrespectful to the tournament organizers. Oh, dude. Bro, please don't tell me you're that guy. <laughs> you should only pick the medicines at all times. Fun is disrespectful. I don't want fun in my tournament. I don't want people having a good time. I don't want people streaming the tournament or being incentivized to try harder in the tournament. I don't want any content from my tournament except goddamn competitiveness. That's it. Taking bribes from meme draft picks isn't great. It's not even that much of a meme, dude. This is this serious? Bribes for meme draft pick. The only listen, listen. You can take bribes for whatever the fuck you want if it's your own picks, dude. You're only impacting yourself. You're only impacting yourself. You can do whatever the fuck you want with your draft. Can we bribe you to wear a sweet afro wig at NAC? There was a there was a purchase for that. Shinji! Thank you for the 47 months. Like, oh! Are you holding your Here's own tourney, Dave? I promised if you casted this Yes, game. it is Blender Thanks Cup taking this bribe. coming 2020. Yeah. And um We're going to mix it up, dude. We are going to mix it up. That's right. 2020? No, 2020. That's when it's going to happen. Here we are. Hippopotamus. <laughs> Viper playing as Japanese. Hera. Dravidians. Dun, dun, dun. Frankly, incredibly, incredibly disrespectful to the tournament for accepting a bribe to pick Dravidians first overall and most likely deny that pick from Viper. Corrupt. <laughs> Corruption. We need to drain the swamp. We need to stop the gravy train. Anyway, uh, Dravidian should be pretty good here. Honestly, one of the better sieves on Hippopotamus. Japanese also fairly decent. You can see both of them going up for the docks. Viper can get there a little bit quicker because he had to spend less wood on the lumber camp. And his fishing ships are going to have a ton of HP and fish a little bit faster. He's also holding his scout up near this area. And Hera is busy pushing. Viper's not pushing in those. 
Viper's going to be a menace up here. Now, Hera's sending two villagers forward just because of this. And Viper leaves. He leaves. But then he comes back. Uh-oh. Gonna be tough to quick wall. Hera's dock is gonna be delayed, if nothing else. Hera doesn't bite! Oh my god! And Viper doesn't even attack, dude! That's what you call respect. That is respect. Because against any player that isn't, like, top 5, Viper is attacking those villagers. And it's a headache for Hera. He might deal with it fine, or he might, you know, be absolutely screwed. And the pathing might be bad, and the micro might be messed up a little bit. Or he fails the deer bush, has to go back again, his build order is scuffed. But Viper doesn't even attack there. He doesn't even try, because it's Hera. And on a consistent basis, Hera will manage to weaken the scout without losing vills. He'll still get the dock up. And he'll still be pushing stuff in over here, and then he can win the 1v1 scout war. And that's the respect you get from being pretty good. You have to earn that respect. And it makes your games a little bit easier on average. Because your opponents just expect you to be able to do stuff. Wait, it's a hippo and not a panda? It's definitely a hippo. I don't know where anyone is seeing panda here. It definitely doesn't look like it. Is Nilly watching? Nilly's not here. It's a fucking panda chat. Not a hippo. What kind of hippo is this? Is it ill? Clip this. Don't clip that. I ex <laughs> If someone clips that, I will see your name. Okay? I will be on rat detection duty. I will know exactly who clipped that. I'm looking at all my clips afterwards. All of them. I will sniff out the rat. Clip it on my unknown all I'll know. <laughs> Feudal H on the way. Rara. Full wall on this side. Both players have gone for this wood line. So there's no mix up going for the outside. Maybe that only happens in the uh in the qualifiers, you know? Militia now coming out this way. Two more militia on the way. So it's men at arms push for Viper. Hera, has he seen the barracks yet? He has. So he knows what the approach is. He's going to spot this militia as it comes out. There we go. He knows the other two are likely far forward. He knows it's likely men at arms. Three, two, one. Bop. <clears throat> Did David ever show his Red Bull banner? I never got one. I never got one. They asked me for details, what I wanted, and then I, I just never got it. So... Everyone else got a banner. I never got one. They might have, like, tried to ship it to me and got the address wrong. I don't know. They never contacted me about anything. They have my address because they've shipped me stuff before. Just fine. What did you ask for? A wolf? Uh, with my logo colors. So red and white. Which would kind of be like, oh, nice, dude. Two villagers already dead. That's big. That's really big from Viper, and you can see the, the fire galley over here from Hera is kind of inactive, right? And that's going to take forever to kill a fish. So Viper's already getting value. I also sent one of the men-at-arms to take out the fishing ships over here, and he weakens it just a bit. Great engagement there for Viper. Three eco-kills already. I think this guy might have got a fishing ship. He did, I think. And then this dude, of course, got two villagers. So beautiful opening here for Viper. I was actually, like, 
I was really disappointed I didn't get a banner, but I don't know. I didn't know who to reach out to. Actually, no, I did reach out to one of them. They said they would check. And then uh, I didn't get any word back. Viper trying to repair here with two villagers against the fires. Is he going to be able to keep these alive? He's got to keep the villagers behind the fire ships. He does take out one of them, but he's probably going to lose this guy. He does! And he might even lose her too. And he does. Demolition Raft is on the way, and it's going to be a nice little boom here. Doesn't quite take out this fire galley somehow. And Hera will be in a position to clear up the fish. Also coming over with the scouts. Viper just sending archers across. And he's got two archers with two skirmishers. Does have fletching too, so could be a risk for Hera. Lots of villagers collecting the shore fish. Viper just has a mill here. Doesn't have a dock yet. Demo could go hard. Demo could go extremely powerful. It was so cool. Somebody stole it. Yeah. I think they just fucked up the shipping somehow. I never got like a, a notification from the post office or anything. Um, I never got a slip or, a, or an email or a tracking number or any of that stuff. Or they just didn't want to make me one. I don't know. It would be cool to have it, though. Definitely be cool to have it. Some seven-year-old named David has your banner. Good. I hope it's. I hope it's really cool. Dravidian Fisher men and women carry more food. That could be nice, but he's running out of fish here. However, Viper's counterattack has been denied on this side by the fire galley. I wonder if he's seen the villagers fishing. He must assume so. He's going for a dock down here. He can gather fish to that dock with the villagers, but he can also go for some demos. And he's clearing up the fire galley on this side too. Dude, Hera's learning, man. Hera just loves having these demos around. He's learning. Beautiful. He always got to have at least one. And Castle Age is on the way for him. Viper is not even close with the food count. Beautiful job from Hera. And you can tell all the food that those villagers brought in, right? Castle Age so quickly here. Without the use of a market. Did you check out the Lord Lord of the Rings map Hera did a video on? Yeah, I've never... The, I've never been a fan of those style of maps, Joel. They're very slow. Uh, and they're quite annoying to play, in my opinion. They're beautiful, but uh, they're not the Lord of the Rings type maps I like to play. That guy's been... Credit to Serac, though. That guy's been making Lord of the Rings maps on HD and now DE since, like, 2014. Like, that dude has been making Lord of the Rings maps for, like, 10 years. I haven't liked any of them, but I, I mean, they look very nice. And I know he's got a big community that enjoys them. So, I mean, credit to him. He's... I'm very specific with my Lord of the Rings maps. Scouts are at being added in from Viper. Harris and Castle Age. What does Viper do here? How can Viper come back from this? Second TC from Hera. Archers are looping around. Fire galley looping around. No demo though, so he can't get a big old boom here. Swing it back into his favor. Is there a speculate? Yup. Can I play a Lord of the Rings map alone? Um, you could, but it doesn't really... Like, you need other players. It's supposed to be like an open kind of diplomacy style map. If you play the older Lord of the Rings styles, um, you need all the players to be active. You can't play with computers. Uh, 
good. There might be like a Lord of the, I think there was a few Lord of the Rings RPGs you could play where you start with like, you know, a unit and you're like part of the fellowship and you just got to kill all the orcs and stuff. But you don't have like a big base or whatever. You just have one unit. Okay, Viper, you know, he's taking out the fish now from Hera. He's going to lose another villager, but at least he manages to find some value against the skirmishers. And he's on the way out to Castleage. 44 villagers for Viper. 38 for Hera. Now, Hera has that second TC, but Viper's not completely out of this yet. There's a demo raft on the way. And he's kind of controlling the water right now. He's also taking the hunt over here, taking advantage of the uh, the cheaper Japanese mills. If he comes down this way, it could be good for all that hunt. He's on stone. Do we think that Viper can pull this back? I mean, Harris kind of taken his foot off the gas pedal. He really didn't have the resources to go for Castle Age military. Doesn't have access to knights, which would have helped a ton here. Elite Skirm isn't going to get him that much more than just regular Skirm at the moment. He needed to catch up on Vils, so he put the wood into a TC instead of a Siege Workshop. And his food eco is still in shambles after all the fish is gone. I think Viper's eco is just much more consistent. Look at the overall res collected. Viper coming in. Oh! That's not bad. It's not bad. Three skirms, and then the scout clears up the rest of them. It's not bad. Nice. Good demos already. Second town center for Viper. I think he is going to think that he is behind by a lot more villagers than he actually is. Hera has 47. He's got 46. I think if you were to ask Viper, he would tell you he was six or seven villagers behind right now. Or more, actually. Probably more. Probably more like 10. He hasn't seen that other TC, but he hasn't seen a lot of military from Herod either, so he probably knows that it's been added. And, like, idle TC time is not usually something that you assume you're of your opponent. Unless they're doing some sort of crazy, like, all-in strategy. And it's also not something that you're really tracking for yourself. You can know that, in general, you've been queuing villagers or you haven't been queuing villagers. But sometimes that number would surprise you. One more villager down. 54 vills for Hera. 48 for Viper. Viper almost has enough for a castle. Hera... Almost has enough for a castle. <laughs> castle v. Castle. Mono a mono, perchance. Maybe some sort of Sebastian ACCM <laughs> position. Viper, whatever you do, don't make the castle right here. With no military to back it up. We've seen this before. Third town center from Viper. And Wheelbarrow, too. Still ahead on total res collected. I like this. I like the fact he killed. He slaughtered all of these ostrich. Harris <laughs> is going to be like, bro, where am I? Where are my dudes? And Viper is exploring this area just to make sure that Harris is not booming here. He's patrolling with the knight. Hera might see this. Or he might have just shift clicked over here. It looks like he shift clicked over here. So he will probably lose that monk. Viper sees the monk and backs away immediately. Wow. <clears throat> here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Castle forward from Viper. How many villagers? Twelve. Okay, so it's not the doubt special. It's not the eight villagers. It's 12. Viper has a mangonel. Hera will back away. 
That Mangano still might be able to range these Vils. Oh, it does! Oh, Viper attack around here? Oh, no! <laughs> Could've got so many. So great position for the castle there from Viper. It's gonna be hard for Hera um, to take this one down with like a Batard Rush or something. He's gonna need to incorporate Rams into that too. And Viper would kill a lot more villagers. Hang on a second here, folks. Hang on a second. Hang on! Viper has made the comeback, and now Viper is in the lead. Hera is losing so many villagers on that castle. Oh my god, it's still not up! Oh my god, 33 villager kills now for Viper. Oh my god, what a nightmare for Hera. And this is why, kids, we don't play Dravidians. Hera is losing his mind at Dravidians right now. Three extra TCs in the top. More farms in the top. A lot of his farming space has been cut off down here. No petards from either player. They know it's too big of a distance. It's not worth it. Fires are still patrolling around here from Hera. Viper's still expanding his eco a little bit, and he's thinking about Imperial Age. The Castle Age timing was so much faster for Hera. The Imperial Age timing is going to be so much faster for Viper. And with this forward castle, he can get Treb set up. He can Treb this down, and then it's wide open. There goes for an outpost here. What is he thinking? HGG coming in hot. Yeah. Yeah, delete those. Yeah. Hera's still got like a decent economy, right? Even after all of that, 65 villagers. Viper's still missing that second wood upgrade, and the resources collected is quite close, but... I mean, Imperial Age is going to be pretty brutal. Even if Viper doesn't have that much military to, to follow it up with, he can produce Samurai out of the castle. He can produce trebs. And if he gets like two or three trebs with some samurai to back it up. And maybe some mangonels or skirms or something. It's going to be tough. That's for sure. No horse collar. It's fine. It's fine. He's got the mills for berries. And it's fine. He should mill this, honestly. Crossbow's coming in. Mangonel is making its way over here. I'm not sure if Hera knows that that Mangonel is there. He's going to know now. And Viper will have to retreat with all of these villagers. Ballistics is in for Hera. And he does have a knight. So tough position for Viper. He's n there's no way he's going to get this conversion in time. That knight was not doing damage to that Mangonel. What on earth? Hera deletes the knight at the last second. That is crazy, dude. It missed its like frame of attack two times. Over micro, exactly, it was. Also very frustrating though. It should have been able to kill that Mangonel for sure. Skirmisher is being added from Viper, plus two armor coming in from Viper for the cavalry. And Trebs are on the way out, and Hera is about to click up to Imp. Where does he go up to Imp? This one, probably, right? Yeah. Viper sending Skirms up this way. Can Hera wall this in time? The villager is coming over with the house. If Viper gets through here, he could actually make an educated guess on which town setter Hera is going up in. If he sends the trebs over, but I don't think he's going to have enough time. Yeah, I don't think he's going to have enough time. That would be interesting, though. If he suspected Hera was in Imperial Age, he sees three TCs here. There's no way Hera goes up in this one. Absolutely no way. Probably not this one. And probably not this one. 90% of the time, it's going to be this TC. There's not enough time, yeah.
Plus, it's only two traps, right? I, I would be very interested to see which town center he goes after, though. He's going to take out this town center now. He could go for some samurai to deal with this stuff, potentially. 93 villagers for him. 93 villagers as well for Hera. And Hera will go for a defensive castle. So even if you wanted to go after the TC, it's too tough now. Can't do it. Viper has a new target. Villager is now finally running over to this area. It would be great if Hera could have some ostrich over here, but it's not to be because some nuisance killed them before. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Viper's like, all right, I'm actually down with that. I could kill that. I could kill that with a thought. I could kill this with a thought with this trebuchet. I'm fine with this. At any point, I could just think about this being dead. He killed the tree as though he was a warning shot, and Hera deleted the gate. It was a miss. He killed the tree, and Hera just deleted the gate. It was a warning shot. It was a courtesy throw. Viper still no ballistics on the skirms. He does have Bracer though, so he's going to be able to kill these vills eventually. And Hera goes for Watchtowers over on this side. Not the greatest against Skirms with plus two armor, for sure. But uh, it will protect him to some extent as we see more Skirms up here from Viper. And another town center from Hera. Viper's got four TCs behind this. Like, this is not an all-in push from, uh, from Viper. Parthian Tactics on the way. And another TC from Hera. The problem with doing rat mode well, with your videos, so right? Is out. what are you gonna make? What are you making? Assuming you get the 145 population. Champions against Japanese? Skirms and Pikes. Yeah. Treb's still pushing this way. Farmiko from Hera will be taken out. And that'll be a huge blow. Also, Viper's gonna know. Cannon galleons could go. Cannon galleons could hit different down here. Not gonna lie. If you ever clear up these fires, I mean, these fires have been sitting here annoying him forever. As Hera has a little offensive of his own on this side. So maybe he wants to deal with that at some point. But I mean, at this point, Viper is fully focused on pushing on this side. And why not? He's already killing one, two, th three TCs over in this area. He's about to kill the castle. He's cut off all of the farming eco. And whatever is happening over here to his base is not as concerning as this is to Hera. Hera still is the Vill lead? You're not wrong. Samurai would be really sick here. And Viper finally trying to clear up these fires. Hera is going forward for a really aggressive castle. I don't know if you can get away with this. So without these fires here, the skirms from Viper, not too many villagers either. Doesn't feel like something that you can make work. But, I mean, you're clearing up the trebs on the other side, so Hera keeps defending. Meanwhile, one cav archer at the bottom, and Hera, as it is when you have TCs in the north, in the south, you kind of lose track of your villagers, so lost quite a few villagers to this cav archer and the light cav. Viper knows all about this base. He's going to deal with that eventually. Why do pro players never destroy an opponent's market? Because it 
takes time, and it's only 200 wood to replace. Very cheap. And it's rude. Yeah, it's rude. <laughs> Ballistic's still not in for Viper. Eco KD, 60 to 22. How come score is so head to head? Um, I honestly don't know, man. I really don't. Water and scouting? I don't know if there's that big of a scouting difference here. There's Harris scouting. There's Viper. <laughs> Holy shit. Viper maxed out. Viper's literally maxed out on scouting. Is he missing anything? KD? The KD is not even that bad. Does Viper have any gaps in the scouting? Yeah. There's one over here. Needs to get in that corner for sure. Hit that 100%. How does he see center of eyes? Um, he's had trebuchets going through the middle there. That's how. Okay, light cap. Rating. Ballistics finally coming in. And Hera is still distracted. And Viper has cut off a lot of Hera's farms. Throughout this whole process. So, he knows the food eco is kind of in shambles from Hera. He's also got three relics. You have the ludicrous map 100% explored achievement. The fact that you know about that. I have the touch grass achievement, which means I don't know about that achievement. Where's the last two relics? There's one over here. And then there's one up here. Not the greatest position for bomber cannons. Especially only with a skirmisher to protect. Viper backs away, though. Crazy. Probably thought there was another army behind that. Maybe could have sniped those bomber cannons. Who knows? He's back over here with some more light caps. Still raining. And he's got a trip this time. They so can take out the tower. Take out this tower. Take out this CC. And then Hera would be, be stuck in the north. Sorry to get distracted sometimes. Apologize. Interesting series of events. I think he I think he found it. I think he found the corner. Oh no, there's a little tile! There's one little tile! Bro! We need the 100 percent exploration. There is a singular tile over there. Meanwhile, over here. Hera is pushing forward. Skirmishers and Arbalists. I think the Japanese cab archers no longer get. The bonus damage against skirmishers, right? It's only against archers. As we see Hera trying to rush down the treads with villagers, Viper's easily dealing with that. 38 skirmishers of his own, and Viper is now adding in demos! And he gets a little bit of value. Could go for cannon galleons here. Should go for cannon galleons here, honestly. Cannon galleons would be absolutely sick if you have the gold. Not only against the treads, but also against the skirm mess. see the arbalists really adding value there's only nine of them but they're clearing up the light cap as they come in however viper is on the pushback once again on this side sending in the light cap for the bomber cannon is never going to get that but he might be able to get it with the skirmishers potentially and he's sending more vills over to this side maybe <gasps> kata baruto let's go dude 
That's hot. Cannon galleons, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Harris got a lot of stone for castles, but he's slowly, 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 slowly being penned into this top area. And if anything, he's going to run out of wood if he stays up here. It just goes for more docks. Cannon galleons, galleons. If you just keep up production, you can completely kill everything that Hera has. He got the corner. Did he? No! Oh, is it always like that? Oh, it's always... Oh, oh. Oh, it's always like... It's always like that. I don't see anywhere else that he cannot see. I think Viper may have 100% exploration. Kenny Gallion's looping around. Arrow slits is in. Murder holes is not, though. And these units are still stuck underneath the tower. Trebs working away on the castle. Bomber cannon has to deal with the cannon galleons. So that castle will go down. And now demos are coming out for the skirmishers. But the arbalists are in there, so the demo goes down before it connects. They still have to be concerned about these cannon galleons. And Hera lost that castle, though he's brought the bomber cannons over to deal with the trebuchets now. As Galleon is now coming in from Viper. Okay, at least he got one of them. At least he got one of them. No gold for Hera. 850 in the bank, two relics for him. Gold is something that he really wants access to, and I think this might be the only one left for him. Yeah, I think it might be. That or the golds, you know, out here, which Viper's currently taking. It's definitely going to be an issue, 100%. Corners aren't round and black. He is missing a pixel in all corner. Look east here. He has discovered it. I'm sorry to say that you're wrong. <clears throat> Ban? Dude, calm down. <laughs> Van, <laughs> hang on a second, dude. <laughs> Shipwright, oh my god, oh my god. Viper has turned the hippo into a fully aquatic animal. It is no longer a mix of land and sea, fully aquatic. <laughs> Crucify him. Jesus. You guys need to chill. Are you Roman? Is that your solution to everything? Oh, not Jesus. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. I said that as a reflex. I didn't mean like the... Wait a second. Hang on a second. I did not connect the dots. I did not connect the dots. Cancelled. <laughs> oh boy. Just hang me out to dry, you know? Damn, dude. Heavy demolition ship. Coming in for Hera. Very limited gold. And there goes your demos that you were so gracefully building up. Skirm still harassing over here. 
traps. Taking care of this push. Viper has so much more res available to him. Specifically gold. And now stone. And he's getting Yasama Towers. And Hera has five, now seven gold. <laughs> but don't worry. Never fear. He has demolition shit. Heavy demolition chips. That's right. And the Arbalists will go bye-bye. And the Arbalists, honestly, are the only thing keeping these massive skirms alive. When Viper's next army comes in. Another tower here from Viper. Keep is on the way. Why not Cavalier or Samurai? You have the gold. Come on. It, it just be what it be, dude. I think the, the heavy demos are good if you have gold access, right? If you don't, you're just running into these towers over and over again. And Viper has gold for days. And now Harry can't really push this area. Like Cav in here again. Harry is now going Dravidian stables. Like Cav. Kataparuto. Yes, Yasama. Heaps. And Viper has so much gold. So much gold. Still got gold over here. He's still got gold 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 here. Does Viper have heated shot? Do Japanese get heated shot? I don't think they do. GG? Maybe. Population's dropping for Hera. And it's paused. Yo, thanks for stopping by, Mike. Glad you enjoyed, dude. Can bro resign already? I said, let him cook, man. I had something scheduled at 5 o'clock. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen right now. Tea time? Dude, there's no tea. Listen. There's no tea times in December in Canada. Viper doesn't want to lose to Dravidians. Hera doesn't want to lose as Dravidians against Viper. And he's fighting for his life. And he just took out two more trebuchets. This is ridiculous. Viper loses even more siege. He loses even more siege. And Hera is still somehow at 186 population. How? You might ask. We don't know. It is completely inexplicable. How he is holding this. And borderline pushing it back. Viper takes out the trap. Viper is going for more towers. Slow and steady will win the race. Maybe. Hera's wallet is empty. I know. And that's why it's stunning that he's still alive. Because it's been empty for a very long time now. Eco KD is 175 to 35.
Para also needs this gold. I mean, that's 495 gold. Right? That's a big deal. He's down to double digit res on gold. No digit res on stone. And he was down to double digit on food for a while there too. And he might be housed when he loses this castle. I don't know how much pop space he's gonna have. Yeah. My man is gonna be running out of wood. He's gonna be running out of gold. He's gonna be running out of space. The only advantage he has right now is that he's younger than Viper. He's got potentially more stamina in these late games, although I don't I don't really buy into that that much. <laughs> Viper's played so many of these. And Viper looks like he's doing fine. Elite Cannon Galleon upgrade would be big. Dude. That'd be nice. Oh my god, look at this push from Hera. Right down the gut. He can hope to outlive Viper before the game is over. True. I genuinely thought they'll play until one guy dies of age. Hey. Oh. Anyone checked uh, Viper's blood pressure lately? Are we at risk? This is a very strange game, yeah. Hera will lose this army here against the Light Cap. He simply will, right? There's too many Light Cap from Viper. He's going to lose the Trebs. He's going to lose the Skirms. I don't think he's bought himself enough time. And if we look over here, well, we've got Cannon Galleons, Towers, Galleons as well. This castle has gone down, and Hera finally calls the GG. And we are at a Game 7. After that Copenhagen game. Right? After that Copenhagen game. When Hera was up 3-1. And it looked like Viper didn't have a plan there. How many of you thought that we would be going to a game seven? Not many. Not many at all. Me? Shut up. I'm trying to prove a point here. I definitely knew. Gamdom.hera, aowebuilds.com. <laughs> Hera did a great job surviving. That was incredible. I, I, I don't know how. I mean, Viper obviously was looking after his win conditions, right? So he, he locked down this side. He locked down this side. He made sure Hera couldn't get to the gold. And he made sure he was taking these golds. And then he made sure that he just defended enough so Hera couldn't have completely safe access to this wood line. He went under the water so Hera couldn't take back water. He looked after his win conditions. He probably could have gone Samurai, but obviously only has one castle left. Check map. Check map explored, please. He hit it! I think that's the first time I've ever cast a game and someone has actually hit 100% exploration without it being like the map being explored to begin with. I think that is the first time I've ever seen that. Let's get a clap in the chat for Viper. 100% exploration. Maybe capture H bug. Okay. I will check the game. One hundred percent. It says 100. It says a hundred. It says 100, guys. Show? I already showed you Capture Age. <laughs> Go download the rack, bruh. Look at what sieves these guys are winning with, by the way. None of this top pick bullshit. Well, except Japanese. 
They're winning with their back end sits. That's how you win at the high level. Yo, Bison. Just got back for the final game. Good. Welcome back for the two years, dude. Hope you're doing well. Lotto, thank you for the 10 months. Thanks for the follows, everyone. I'm going to run a 30 second ad real quick, okay? Just so you don't get one during game seven. It's already out. It's already running. Okay, never mind. What is a pig in a blanket to you? It's a little, it's, it's a little, like a, a mini hot dog wrapped in pastry. Apparently in Europe it's wrapped in a in bacon instead of a pastry. Okay. Sausage, not hot dog, whatever the fuck it is, dude. I I have only had it like once or something. You know what I used to really enjoy? That I can't remember if it was also called pig in a blanket. I think it was also called pig in a blanket. Was a sausage wrapped in a pancake. That's some shit, dude. And then you like dip it in the maple syrup. Sheesh. So good, dude. Is that a sandwich? Yeah. Rare. It's it's sometimes a ravioli, though. It depends how tight you wrap it. That's the most Canadian thing I've ever heard. You'd fucking love it, dude. Hell yeah, it's Canadian. Would you love it? Yeah. You'd enjoy the fuck out of that. That's delicious, but I usually use breakfast sausage instead of a hot dog. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. When I said hot dog, I ta I I meant the little... You know the little hors d'oeuvre ones that they have at like uh, functions or whatever? That's the only ever time I've ever seen pigs in a blanket. Is like at a at a like a uh, appetizer pre meetup for like an event or something where a catering company makes them cocktail sausage. There you go. Fuck you all. Your have, guys are so have a few bad. cocktails. I'll show you my sausage. Sausage. That's all I'm saying. Hi what? Dave. <clears throat> is Viper a soup or a salad? Um, he is a ravioli. What? I think that ravioli is a subset of a sandwich. That's an interesting conversation. Um, I could see the argument. There's been a lot of, you know, talk on the subject. And uh, there's definitely, like, conflicting theories. But it's definitely worth talking about. It's worth discussing for sure. Pasta is just drained soup. Dude, pasta is salad. 100%. You just don't understand, man. Sometimes pasta can also be a sandwich, though. I don't even agree a burger is a sandwich. A burger is either a sandwich or a salad. Why you pronounce it like that? Oh, what do you want me to say? Pasta. 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 Fuck off. Not now, Dave. <laughs> Pasta. <laughs> Let me just go hop on my scooter.
Does Dave just find something to in chat to trigger him after every game? Well, I'm not triggered right now. I'm talking about food groups, dude. It's one of my favorite conversations. If anything, I'm triggering people. People just don't understand, dude. They just can't make the connection. Oh, game seven. Vietnamese for Hera, Mayans for the Viper. Viper has brought this back from a 3-1. We can look at Hera's map here. It's a decent one. It's not great. But there is walling potential. And he's fairly close to the edge of the map here. That is a... That's actually a decent corner. I like the mix of the, the oak autumn trees and the bamboo. It's nice. Looking over at Viper's side. Well, his wood lines are quite far away. But he does have one at the back. Very hilly around here. And the gold is at the back, but still not the optimal map. Simply because of how far the wood lines are. How much walling you're going to have to get done. Take a look at this corner. Underwhelming. Final corner checks. This one's interesting for sure. And then this one, I'm not expecting big things. And I'm glad I didn't expect anything because it kind of sucks. Guys, we could see. Now, I don't want to get too crazy here. We've had a bunch of long games in this set. We could conceivably see a situation where it is Mayan skirms up against Imperial skirms from Vietnamese and paper money. That's right. Paper money making the difference. You have a corner tier list video? No. Can't be Mayan skirms. Pros never use them. True. They consistently throw due to underappreciation of mind screams. We need the food group video. Dude, I've explained it so many times. I don't need to make a video. I just need to listen. Viper only have one wood line. I mean, this one's kind of close. That probably counts as a second, right? The way you could look at this, you could say, like, Hera almost only has one wood line, too. <laughs> this one's pretty far away. That's an ugly wood line. Pretty far away. He's basically pushing the Ibex, though, which means he can't find these geese. Are fish traps on the edges of the map still bugged? No, they fixed that in user patch, bro. The Vietnamese technology is called D. paper money. Shouldn't it more aptly be named Vietnamese Dong? It probably should, Apex. Thank you for the $25. Yet another Vietnamese Dong joke. From our resident Dong comedian, uh, Majestic Apex. That's right, he never runs out of Dong jokes. Dong up. <laughs> That's the Vietnamese financial forecast. It's either dong up or dong down. Dong holding steady. There's not a lot of movement in the dong today. Dong hasn't seen action in weeks, dude. The dong's position has solidified. <laughs> Everyone's excited about the dong. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Will it be possible to meet our heroes live during NAC? Well, I mean, like, who's your hero, right? Is it Iron Man? Because if it's Iron Man... You're out of luck. It's Nilly. If you're going to the meetup, if you bought tickets, then you will have a chance to meet Nilly. Yeah. All right. Scout from Hera just roaming around. Viper's Eagle roaming around as well. And Hera's gone stable and he's he followed it up with an archer range here. It's just archer range from Viper. A few spearmen, some archers coming out. 
Hare will go scout Skirm likely. Should be able to counter just archers and Viper's gonna have some issues walling, right? So his wall might actually come up like this. And then he goes for like a tower to protect his gold or he just keeps all his army at home. I don't know. What if I didn't buy tickets but have five cases of beer? Well then. Uh, I'm sure you can start your own watch party somewhere else, Bison. <laughs> I'm sure you'd be able to find somebody, even if they don't know anything about AoE 2. You'll never meet Iron Man because he's a fictional character. What do you think? Nice little army coming forward from Viper. Where are the scouts from Hera? They're just back here. Skirmishers still haven't really been produced. Hera gets the eco upgrades before he goes skirm. And he's still not really queuing that many. Okay, Q is finally a scout and a skirmisher, but the scouts here are not finding much value at all. Except making one of Viper's villagers not work. That's the value the scouts get, because he was forced to go for those walls. And he's going to slowly add in the walls behind. Meanwhile, army coming forward. Hera should sense this, right? Like, Hera should know that this is happening. He has not seen the army at all. Fletching is not in for Viper, which will hurt a lot. And Fletching is just now coming in. Harris should be able to get away with this guy. He does. But that guy passed back around the other way, and that's a dead villager. That is a dead vill. Nice job from Viper. Very limited army before Fletching comes in, and he still manages to snipe a vill. A little bit of inattention there from Harrow. One house over here would have changed that whole situation. He was walled here previously. One house here. Even if there's still a tile, it gives you so much more time to react. Prevents Viper from retreating that easily, too. Will there be a Blender giveaway at NAC5? A uh, Blender giveaway happens at Blender Cup 2020. Uh, it happens in the future when I host Blender Cup in the year 20... Uh, something. One minute of idle time. Yep. He did have an extra villager, though, from Mayans, and he did kill that vill, so they should be fairly even here, right? Armor coming in for Viper. I think he was deliberately stalling his TC so he could get the armor, too. When is Dave's Igloo Cup happening? What? I'm not going to cast inside an igloo. I'm not going to make people play inside an igloo. Nice job, for Viper. But Hera, he's been so patient. He's been so patient. Viper got some good engagements against the skirmishers, then didn't pull back the eagles and the, and the spearmen. And now Hera has an incredible amount of scouts with skirms. They're weak scouts, though, so he has to be careful about how he takes this. He doesn't want to lose all his scouts right away. He will be able to clear up the archers. However, Viper is pulling him back quite a ways. It's going to give him some time, send out another army, complete the walls, and go up to the castle age with the help of his trusty friend, the market. There's another army on the way. And you got to keep doing this if you're Viper, right? The tendency is to want to keep that at home. But even if you had this at home, how is that really going to fight up against so many scouts and skirms? You want to keep Hera's army in his own base and maybe even find some damage and distract him. Until you can get up to Castle Age and get that eagle production rolling. Now, in response to this, Hera has a couple things he could do. He could go knights, right, once he gets up and he's about to click up now. He could go cav archers as well, which aren't the worst option against eagles. I don't think long swords is really on the table. I just wonder, is it going to be a mix of eagle crossbow for viper? Likely not, right? Because he'll probably lose all these archers really soon. 
Elephants? No, elephants Shut is like... El no, elephants is just really bad. Do you plan to travel to T90's Florida Hidden Cup watch party? No, because I'm going to be casting it. Nice counter raid here from Viper. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? <sighs> he got away. Four HP. Viper forgot about him. Hera forgot about him for a second too. But the villager gets away on four. Eight. The villager dies. As Viper manages to pull an archer over to this side, he pulls the other archer back here. He's got an eagle to try and protect that. Castle Age is in now for Viper. Only three eagles on the field. Production will get significantly quicker for those eagles. And Hera still hasn't really hit his base at all, right? Two eco kills for Viper. Zero for Hera. Minute and a half of vital TC time for Viper, though. And we have 40 seconds for Hera. So it's kind of the difference right there. The KD. Yeah, Hera's got, uh, Hera's got a really solid KD here. Really, really solid. Most of that is just like the archers that Viper isn't really using anymore. And you'll see this a lot in civs matching up against Mezzo civs, right? KD is rarely in the Mayans or Aztecs or Inca's favor. They're just spitting out units. Monastery comes up from Viper. More eagles are on the way. It's three barracks eagle production and eagle warrior is in now. Hera knows that the monks are here, so he's going to keep his scouts running around. He's going to look for the monks. And then he's going to try and keep massing knights behind this. But he's already fallen behind on his knight mass. He's only got four. And he doesn't have any upgrades for them. So they can't even like win this fight against the eagles right now. He's going to have to be very careful. I wonder if he saw that monastery. It doesn't matter really if he did. The monastery is right here, but he knows. He's playing knights against eagles. Of course there's going to be monks here from Viper. Nice use of the mobility here from Viper. Forces some idle time from Hera, making it even more difficult to keep up the knight production. Doesn't lose this army right away. He's looking for a good engagement on the hill. Hera's got so much military, but a lot of it feels a little useless against eagles. The skirms and the scouts, and you want to save those scouts for the monks? He just chases after with the knights, and he finds himself a beautiful hole here on the wood line. Hera is in trouble. The eagles are pushing him away from the wood. The monk is still converting, and a viper gets the knight. And now Viper is going to use the Monk as bait and try and force out an engagement from Hera. Hera, second TC is up. He's done a pretty decent job so far, not uh, engaging too hard against the Eagles from Viper. But he's going to have to do something to keep track of these numbers. 20 Eagles now on the field for Viper. Do Knights counter Eagles? Yes. But it's not a hard counter. It's kind of a soft counter, and they're, it's harder to get the numbers up for knights. Do knights counter monks? I mean, if you are if you have fat fingers, yeah. How fat are your fingers, chat? Oh, the knight just kept coming back for more, didn't he? He just kept coming back for more. And Viper is overwhelming Hera. Hang on a second. Hera still doesn't have any upgrades but bloodlines for these knights. And the eagles are underneath the TC. What was it the wizard man said? And you have the gallows in your eco. And it's like ding, 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 ding. And they don't care about the TC fire. And they're underneath. And they're hoovering. Good quick wall behind from Harris. Stone wall over there. 
Knights are now looking for a counterattack. They're looking for something. Maybe he can cut off the reinforcements. Maybe he can kill a bunch of villagers in Viper's base. Maybe he can find some exposed monks. Who knows? He needs something here. He's getting his villagers converted now. There's not enough space in that TC for everybody to fit. And Viper keeps up the eagle production. He knows there's not enough space here. He's going to kill the villagers underneath the TC. He doesn't? Why so scared? No plus two for Viper? That is true. I guess he'll just go after the stables then. Concerned about the light cap behind? Era deletes that, that knight wisely. And more eagles are back. Coming back across the map. 56 vils still for Hera. Knight number's really struggling. Bro, the last thing you want to give Vi Viper, American Pup, is uh, elephants to convert. That's the last thing you want to give out. Elephants would be such a throw here. Even Hera can't find pigs on these monks right now. Viper is doing such a good job with the eagles. Hera's still alive, though. He's still alive. Goes for a TC on the gold. More eagles coming. And Eagles are now working away on the TC. He's trying to bait out the fight, right? He wants the idle time. He wants Hera to engage here. He's got so many Eagles. It's primarily Light Cav for Hera. He has three monks as well to convert the Knights. <laughs> what a position we found ourselves in. Viper's like, come out of your TC. Come fight me. And Hera's like, now nah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. And Viper can actually pull back these weak eagles and heal them with his monks. And that's what he's doing. And then he sends in the full HP eagles to attack the TC again. Actually disgusting. He's healing the weak ones. And he has not lost an eagle to this town center. In the last like three minutes, he's been here. This final so bank, so good to the Ot He hasn't lost an eagle to that. He lost one. Okay, he lost one. Basically zero. Disgusting. But Harris still three TC, sixty-five villagers, still ten villagers ahead. And he has the second wood upgrade. And Viper is not on stone. He's not going towards a castle or anything. He's getting arson, though, and arson will help a lot against the town centers. That thing is dead. He knew. He knew he was going to pop out. He's coming in with the monks. Tries to keep those alive, and Hera actually might find an opportunity to snipe the monks. He gets three of them. Hera is keeping himself alive. Oh, my God. How has Viper not been able to find even a town center kill? How has Hera managed to keep himself alive to this point? How is the Eco KD only 4 0? Here we go. Here's the big fight we've all been waiting for. Viper just sitting underneath this TC. He's trying to find that big fight to clear up all the knights from Hera. The villagers are here from Hera, kind of distracting the eagles a little bit. Knight numbers are dropping for Hera, eagle numbers are dropping for Viper. But it feels like Viper has the mass that he needs. And he killed quite a few villagers in that engagement. He killed six additional villagers there. This is such a crazy standoff. It really is. Like, Herod does not want to give up this position for free. He doesn't have a choice in taking this fight. He's just trying to delay as much as he can. He's trying to get all the value he can. Look, and he pulls away right before the knights die so he can heal them up again behind here. Hera lost that because of upgrades. Yeah, having that, uh, having forging would have been big there. He's getting it now. Having that armor through a lot of those fights would have been big there. Still 35 on food. How on earth does this man have 40 place farms already? 
35 villagers on food right now. What? What in tarnation? Hera is locked in gaming right now. Yeah, apparently. Damn, dude. He's got to be locked right now the way he's playing. Trade cart! Hera's starting the trade. Viper converts a knight. <laughs> he cancels it. He canceled it. He canceled it, guys. He canceled it. Viper has not added siege. He is just still going for eagles. How many barracks does he have now? He's got five barracks. Still has not added a second town center. Wood lines are a little bit inefficient. And Harris suddenly has 12 knights. But we have 39 eagles on the field for Viper. Full upgrades. The problem for Hera is that he still can't take the fight, and pretty soon Viper will just have so many eagles that he can split them up, right? He can send eagles over here. Still hasn't discovered this gold. That would be really nice to see. He can take out the TC, which he's doing right now. He can continue killing villagers, and it doesn't matter how many town centers Hera has, because every time he looks over to the other side of his base, there's going to be something like this running in. Oh, he found it. Oh, he found that. Oh, he found them. Hera runs away immediately. Knights are pushing forward. Trying to pull the army out of position. Maybe looking for a counter raid. He's not going to find it. And the monks will die. No more monks healing knights. Hera still has plenty of gold in the bank. So maybe he can go for some more. But we have 47 eagles from Viper. What a final this has been. So many super long games. So many long games. It's wild. And now the eagles are hunting. They're out for blood. Knight's still trying to kill at the reinforcements. Hera's just finding whatever value he can. But 69 villagers for Viper. And it seems like enough. 70 villagers for Hera right now. Viper takes the fight. He's on the hill. 33 eagles. Nine knights only. And more eagles on the way. And Hera? <laughs> well, uh, we don't know what that means. I think he tried to say GG. GG well played, likely. And then he got, he got fucking censored. Yeah, he said it again after the game was over. If you look at the in-game chat, he said GG is well played. And then Viper said, GG is you too. That's funny, man. Double HGG, and then we had that. That's a crazy comeback for Viper. What a great finals for this tournament. Well done, organizer. Middle East Esports. Well done. That is a, a great comeback for Viper. Hera, just tenacious. Every single game. It's so hard to kill this guy off. It's so hard. Like, the fact... That they just had this stalemate, this running stalemate the whole time. And Hera adds like 35 farms behind that. While Viper's chilling underneath his TC. Beautiful. Looks easy, just make a lot of eagles. <laughs> I mean, the control there though. He didn't lose his monks against Hera with Light Cav. Hera had like seven Light Cav. At what point? At one point, I think he had twelve, and at no point did Viper lose his three monks. It took like ten minutes for that to happen. Beautiful. Hera rage quit? No. No, I think he's uh. He's obviously always disappointed when he loses, but I think he will have enjoyed himself with this set. It was highly competitive. And that's what Hera's after. That was crazy, dude. Did not expect it to be that high quality. Obviously, it's Viper and Hera, but still. After the 3-1, I thought maybe uh, Viper was going down the next game, but managed to pull it out.
with the Mayans, the Teutons, the Japanese versus the uh, Vietnamese, the Slavs, and the Dravidians. 